Everybody alive? All right. So I had the book said, let the redeem of you who will say so. All right. I've been redeemed. You still sing terrible. I mean, say he's been redeemed. Singing in the mud. All right. Hello. All right, all right, make sure everybody all right. All right, we're alive by the con of Yahuwah. Appreciate all he does and doing, has done, and give us this opportunity to make sure we get it right. Right. Ain't that right? That's the only reason to be here, make sure we get it right, give all the homage to Mr. Yahuwah, because he certainly didn't have to do it, no doubt somebody not here. I was listening on uh, the news where I left, and Russia has just struck and killed four Ukrainian soldiers. Could have been one of us. Didn't have to be a rocket or a missile. Could have just been Mr. Hill saw fit to take us out. Then they got six students that over D O D from West Point for spring break on fentanyl laced with cocaine. Mm. Epo, but you're educated, you're astute. Can you imagine getting that call? Your kid done O D from fentanyl laced with cocaine? Mm. I didn't know they could put the two together. Let's show you how terrible the world. Now make no mistake, whoever gave it to him finna go to prison. For all along, cause them parents connected. Yep. Them parents don't make $35,000 a year. Nope. But you need to ask yourself, who gonna go to jail for our kids that been slaughtered That's behind right. crack cocaine? That's right. All the drugs they put in, infiltrate our neighborhood, synthetic marijuana, who gonna go down for that? That's right. Oh, they gonna hunt their person down. Make no mistake, their person get hunted down like a dog. Six white kids for spring break. OD don't fit in all lace with cocaine. Oh, make no mistake. It's gonna be a swarm. Somebody gonna do more than life. They might get them the literature behind this one. If they don't kill them when they kick the door in. But make no mistake, our kids die all the time, every day, and never no news breaking story. We getting bombed, we getting shot, we getting torpedoed. We getting everything happening to us and nobody talking about it. Y'all got it, you getting bombarded with these bills, ain't you? Yes. With these late notices and cut off notices. Yep. Ain't that right? It's constantly something coming at us, agitating us every day. I just be honest with you. It's hard to find a so called Negro. Ain't got some kind of health ailment. It's, it's the, all the struggling you got to do to keep surviving just to stay, just to stay alive. Yep. They have a song years ago when rap first come out here at like a jungle sometime. It made me wonder how I keep them going on them. I think Grandmaster Flash and the Furious Five. Y'all remember that? They told the truth, though. They said like a jungle sometimes. It make you wonder how you keep from going under. That one, that one rap had a message. Back then, rap had, when you had a rap back then, you had to, have, you had to be saying something. Now you ain't got to say nothing. Talk about somebody, girl so fine, you want them to put a dead painter in your mouth and all that old fooling with him. And uh, now you around here and tell him, hey, 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 get these hoes down here. Bring these niggas up. <laughs> I blame the generation who listened to them people. Them guys never would have made it in my day. We never even heard them. I never heard none of them guys song. Nothing. I wouldn't listen to them bastards. Man, I had a bit down. Get these niggas down. Bring these, get these hoes down. Bring these niggas up. And the fact that women stayed there and the men stayed there. Everybody should have walked out. Saw a sign of disapproval. That's terrible. I was hearing about that Fred Prince stuff, too. I was just, you know, all you can do. But I know my members ain't that smart to do that, though. Stop listening to it. You just got to see where it's going to go. You don't seen enough of this foolishness. I would hope y'all not supporting that foolishness. It's just about the retards I get. They're pushing homosexuality. Yep. Isn't that right? That's, that's the last thing we need in our community with our kids. That's the last thing we need. I mean, this, you know, and I, and I said this before, other, other races can laugh about it because it don't affect them. It's true. Make a story of Asian people being slaughtered and being slandered and see if they'll let you keep it on TV. Make one of Hispanic people see what they come out and protest it. The so-called Negro is the only one to sit around and he'll laugh at his demise. Yeah. I mean, I, Martin did a lot of damage to it. Martin made it look like it was okay to all your friends to be stupid. Your girls men be smarter than you. You don't own a car. You always in trouble. You all make dumb decisions. I mean, the man constantly make dumb decisions the whole show, and they were shacking up. Do we really need this? No. A lot of shows like, look at Seinfeld. Seinfeld banging women left and right. Ain't no bad image for no white women. Every time he get a good, he dump her. It rather want to yeah. dump him. Kramer was an idiot, but listen, when Kramer had a foreclosure note, yeah. when Kramer had to climb in through the window, yeah. man, Kramer got all kind of business deal, 
getting stuff done, going to other countries, all kind of stuff. Martin and his dumb friends went absolutely nowhere. nowhere. I mean, it just, it's pathetic. And people, when they make comedy for white people, they make it to where it's funny and it doesn't affect them. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't deframe them. It doesn't uh, insult them. It doesn't put them in a bad image. Jerry was still considered to be a good guy. He was, yeah. Joyce, too. Joyce did not. When, whichever one, when, just, you, I mean, just, you watched a lot. I watched a lot. Do you remember the episode where all of them finna get, where one of them finna get put out of their apartment, they couldn't afford to pay their rent? Them guys, Joyce had a problem looking for a job, and the joker still was living and surviving. Yeah. Still come to the dining and eat. Yeah. I mean, just the stuff these people were able to do and how they got things done. We the only people. We the only people. What is this? Did y'all do something to the mic? Or is that me? So I got an echo came. I don't know. Maybe why I turn. But yeah, it's just it's just pathetic. I just I just I just say boycott the whole thing. I didn't like Fred Prince the first time he came out. I didn't think he was fresh then. I definitely don't think nothing about him now. And the fact that he is executive producer and he one of us and he know what kind of turmoil, tra- yep. turmoil, what yep. kind of structure in our home, our family going through, and you will support and you will put something like that. You know, we can say, oh, the white man, white. This a nigga doing this to you. They say, oh, the white man, but the white man owned the station. The nigga ain't got to write it. You would have thought he would have wrote the show and made him look more intelligent than anything. Hey, at least with Cosby, Cosby tried to give us something that was more positive. He did, He really did. You know, no, no, I mean the fat album. I hate fat album. But as far as what he did with that, I mean, listen, wife is a lawyer. You're a doctor. The man got his own office in his house. His kid, yo. Know, Theo still probably dyslexic, because I don't know where he on later. I think he's still dyslexic. I think he was friend with some boy named Eddie. So they all dyslexic. But if you look at the rest of them, I mean, come on. Cosby came in, look at, he brought a man in the Navy, got out the Navy. He was a single father, married his daughter, and they reeled him up right there. He treated just like him. And these are real events that happen to us. That you can be a single man and have, be, have custody of your daughter, marry somebody else, it was somewhat reality for it. If it wasn't, it gave you a reality. Right. For those that didn't have parents that were doctors or lawyers, especially both of them, I don't know nobody of color when we were growing up had no parent that was a doctor and a lawyer. No. I'd have moved in with them jokers. I tried to get him and Gray in them a little spot, him and Bueller somewhere. <laughs> that best I could have did. Man, I had to get myself in there. But I mean, but it gave you something to expire for. You know what I'm saying? It was a positive show, and it was something that we need to aim for. You don't have that now. And the fact that we sit around, we let people so I mean, I'm just being honest. It should be an outcry from the community. But I know y'all be too busy laughing and having fun sometimes. You got to, I tell y'all, you got to watch TV intelligently. You got to watch it intelligent because you got to look at what's the purpose. Look at the whites that supported the show to get him the funding or give him the, get him the outlet to be able to demonstrate that show or be able to publish it and put it out. It is because this man's stupidity will use you and your stupidity to sit here and wipe out a nation. You can't afford it. <laughs> I don't know, man. I, I don't know. It's just terrible. I don't know. It's terrible. I really thought y'all got more intelligence than that, though. I really did. I just thought y'all to look that inside and say, well, you know what, I see where they're going. You can keep it. It don't make sense. You're going to mess up a lot of people. We already got these kids now. I'm right here now kicking. Watch how you walk. Straighten yourself up. Fix that. Do that. Now I got this show here. Somebody tell me they don't know what their sex is. Y'all have them in the homes that stuff going in. Most stupidity come in through TV. Yeah. Most of our stupidity come in with TV. I tell all the time, when I watch TV, I'm watching, but I'm watching with an agenda because I realize you have an agenda. If you're trying to sell me on this great white boy, I'm watching that. That's your agenda to sell me that all white boys can do this. All of them can beat 25 people at one time, run four miles, and still keep fighting. Run, keep fighting, shoot, throw the gun down, keep going, and run up on another gun. You know what? I don't even need a gun. The way you fight, I don't know why you had a gun the first time. You beat 25, what you need with a gun? Don't make sense. They get gun, bullet run out, throw it away. I said, hold on, hold on. Them the move piss me off. I'm not throwing no gun. I might run across some bullet before I run across another loaded gun. I'm not throwing. At least I can fake a nigga. But you ain't got nothing. I hate movies where people throw guns away. I hate that stuff. And they know I hate it. You know they do that? They do that because they know it's somebody who pissed right now. Somebody pissed because like you throw. Then you got these guys. They shooting for hours. And you like, I ain't seen you load this gun. It's, I, I really need you to run out faster. The fact your gun is shooting, and you counting, but you saying, is anybody looking at this is not possible? 
that you shoot. These guys be on cowboy move with a six shooter. Them guys shoot about four, five days. They still had the other bullet around their way. They never took out. You never see them take them bullets out of The guns stay loaded. Six shooter kill everybody on the ball. 150 people kill everybody with a six shooter. It don't even make sense. But there's an agenda involved. And that's how I want y'all to watch TV. Watch with intelligence. Watch these movies with intelligence. Because while you don't realize it, I mean, it's something being worked on you every day. They're always working. How you think? Think about this. How do you suppress a people like us this long? How is it that enough of us ain't got together, had a conversation, say, hey, this got to stop. This got to stop. We're going to stand up. We're going to stop it. We don't. We just keep moving. We ain't got time. Everybody just doing their thing. People just keep going. I ain't got time. Because all the propaganda around us, I mean, the fact that you're struggling, the fact that you're behind, the fact that you got problems, the fact that you're trying to raise your kids, you're not looking at unlike white people. White people don't care about with all that going on. They still keep the same agenda. You still, you think that because Russia here in World War III, white people going to tell their kids, okay, this drop out of college, the world fit in. When the world end, you will have a degree. You're going to have a job in hell. You know what I'm saying? You're not going to be like the blacks. You're not going to be down at the bottom. You're going to be at the top running the black. You're going to be throwing the worms and stuff on them, pouring the gas, pulling the switch for the gas. You see what I'm saying? Nigga be at the bottom. It's bad that you're going to go to Sheol and you're still going to be at the bottom of the total pole. At some point, get to the top of something. I'm saying get an agenda. You don't have one. You just doing stuff. You just doing stuff. And like even with Dawood came out to see Goliath. When they, when they want to know why did he come out? It was a reason why he was there. What's your reason for what you're doing? Okay, we hadn't got that far. You have to have an agenda. Y'all know that? Y'all remember in school you'd have an agenda. You may have a book. They have an agenda book. So what was the book for? For planning. See, look, look how they program school. They gave us a book, agenda. They had said, well, you had your agenda. Of course I didn't. I have nothing. I got to borrow everything. Let me get a pencil for you. You got some paper. They, they were like, I said, they were like, you forced to come. But I said, man, these four parents and already got this stuff. I can just borrow from them. Man, I went to class. Man, I wore that butt naked. Nothing. I mean, cold, but man, I ain't coming no pencil, no paper. Man, for nerd. You slide. None of my friends had no paper, no pencil. So I look at one of my real. Look at him. Let me get a paper. Let me get some pencil. You get a little paper from some folks, and you do your work. Get through that. You're done. You get that pencil. I borrow one in that class. If I got a pencil, it would play pencil break. What was y'all doing with y'all pencil? Okay, I was too playing pencil break. That was it, man, playing pencil break. Man, that's a career in itself. Man, you get you a little name around that, man. That man get pencil break. Then sometimes you get some old nerd, they want to play. I don't play pencil. So get your pencil hold on. Get, you just chop, bah, just keep going. That's <laughs> how stupid self. I don't play no pencil break with you. You know how hurt they be? They be sitting there, you don't chop their pencil. They be sitting there like, you just walk out, just leave them right down. Like you shouldn't have been playing. You should be trying to get an education. That's what their parents sent them there for. My mom and dad sent me to school to do pencil break. They didn't know it. I was pretty good, too. You've been proud of me. <laughs> I did better than I did on some of them tests. Oh, so all y'all got all A's. Where y'all that got all A's all the time you in school? One, two, three, four. Uncle Ted, they didn't have a letter A out when you were in school. <laughs> they used to just draw the olive on their paper. <laughs> stop, trying, stop trying to cheat me. Stop trying to cheat me. I'm trying to cheat me. They've been doing operating Uncle Ted and them stuff. Yeah. So who all got all A's? You got all A's? All A's. Oh, hey, that's beautiful. What, let me ask y'all a question. What building are they in right now? They right here with us. <laughs> all that hard work, you can sit right here. <laughs> they all that hard work, they're like, oh, I'm going to be somebody. I'm going to go, so I'm going to be somewhere special. Right here with us. <laughs> no, nah, that's good, though. I don't know what it do for you, but that's good. That did. And I'm telling you, now, I, had, I used to get all A until I came to the Cal County School System. You done left me in Atlanta, I've been a Rhodes Scholar. But she took me out and brought me to Cab County. And them niggas thought they were smart. We had ones and twos in Atlanta. I ain't had nothing but ones and twos. I was on, man, them folks come up, be on honor roll, be so proud. I didn't even know what I did. I just be happy. They just call you on the, you be like, me? <laughs> I, I did that? You don't let it either. I'm like, here it is. So it had me regular. I said, man, I'm somebody. I got to Cab County. Messed up everything. 
these and the other. I didn't know what them folk put on that paper. Because we had one. Who went to school in that long? Do you remember? Hold on for a minute. Didn't you go to school in that long? Where you went to school at? Where elementary? Uh, Clifton Elementary. Man, Ben tore that thing down. That thing been out about 62 years. <laughs> Clifton Elementary. Where could I remember Clifton. Clifton Road. Oh, that by the cat in the city of the cat, I couldn't. Across the Gresham Park. Gresham Park. Yeah. Oh, like Gresham Paul. He ain't learned nothing over there. Man, Gresham Paul was so rough. Was it, it wasn't as rough back then, though, was it? Back then, black people over there, it was get, Yeah, it was. Then, yeah, we had some whites over there, too. It was scattered. And them things, whew. Whew. By the late 80s, night, whew. Yeah, man, look, them white folk did that. They were, you walking down the street with, hey, Mr. White. They said, hey, nigga. Y'all walk, you walk down. They, listen, one day, listen, all the white folk moved off our street. We didn't even, listen, we didn't see the U-Haul. I thought they moved while we were asleep. That's some dirty stuff. Justin, Justin, why do white people move from black people neighborhood at night? I don't know. I'm asking you. We got to get answers. <laughs> you know, will you get in trouble if you tell us? No, nah, I mean, I don't know. Who in the, listen, we had white people on our street. You remember we had white people on the street we moved out there with? All them crackers moved out one night. You know, you just looked up one day, they were gone. They left the curves up, and you saw the grass. You're like, they used to cut their grass. They were gone. They ain't leave no note like, hey, nigga, we moved. They just left. White people be sneaking. They just be talking. You say, hey, how you doing? Like that. You be like, oh, I got a white friend. They finna move. They be like, who all living there with you? Like, oh, it's just me and my family. Oh, okay. We finna move. There's too many of them niggas in there. It be folk. Back then, it was two white people. A husband, white, and a kid, and a dog. White people know they had big families. Just, you know, the white people had like a lot of folks, like a lot of kids. Sit down. White people don't do that. Five in the month. Sit down. That's a lot right now. We were coming along. You didn't find many white folks had five kids. Yeah, you know, if they did, it was in like a poor neighborhood. Maybe in a trailer like that because you ain't got no roof, so you just got to have six to make kids. To hang them up in the air so you can keep some of the rain off from over here at nighttime. Y'all, it wouldn't be that many y'all if it weren't for farming. I mean, man, nobody had no reason to have no bunch of kids. Sex is great, but nobody want to get pregnant. So then, that the only reason folk had, like, it was like 13 of y'all, 11, 14, and two died. The only reason they had it because he had to farm. Y'all didn't know. Motherfucker didn't die that man. Shoot, man, folk trying to have no sex. Somebody trying to get pregnant every two years. That folk looking at shoot, we slacking. We got some more, we got more cotton to pick. Let make a baby. I'm telling you, that's how you did it. Man, everything's on the real height. All y'all were two years apart. Not, not everybody. Not everybody. Two years, Psalm, a year. Psalm two years, yeah, he couldn't wait that long. <laughs> granddad, he, granddad, I can't wait that long. That two more years, yeah, he got to get one now. He said, it worked killing me. Master, beating you crowd the back with the wheel. You, know, you need a kid so somebody can beat. He swung, you just hold the kid up. Turn around backwards. See, they heal. Kids heal quicker. That man go swing, you grab a little kid. Shaw! <laughs> grab a little shaw! Shout all your kids got X on their back. See, they ain't have no mirror. I ain't smell to know all that meat just tore up on her back, but she don't know it. they ain't have no mirror. <laughs> Man, had a bed old mother like hot lean around them. That's how it was. That's how y'all, how much y'all thought these folks just had this love affair like they just making all these kids? You had them because you, you need to farm. You need them kids to help you. Man, you, you figure, vote one on no one acre? Man, vote be sitting on acres. And you gotta go out here, man. You see them fields? Man, them fields, man, them country fields were long and hot. The dirt draw heat. That's a lot of field. But you be out there all day plus some. How many of y'all ain't never been out in the field and work? But I'm telling you something. That thing will change your mind. I ain't gonna tell that field to change your mind. My God, I have my granny. We went to see my granny one time. That joke, he said, don't he? He ain't hardly call your name for much. Cause he definitely didn't know everybody, but whatever he know my name. My mom said I pissed on when I was little. I guess he held something against me. That joker said, uh, that joker whooped me for peeing on I'm like, he do know it one on purpose. I mean, we in the bed again, I'm a kid. I'm going to pee. <laughs> but anyway, that joker had me pick potato. I thought I'd pick up one of them. Nope, you got to keep going. I said, you ain't got to worry about me coming back here, old man. It's going to be a long time. Why don't you put my head and go to work, joker? When I come back to see you, it's going to be high and by. Now I want piss. I'm coming from the city. I want to, I already got to walk a dirt road. I got, listen, you walk down the street, snakes just fall out the tree. What? Listen, this, uh, 
Bow! Snake, you like. Now, walk down the street, you walking, that thing, look, listen, they'll lay on the road and look dead. I'm walking, and I'm just going, my cousin caught me, pulling back, I said, I said, what? He said, snake, I said, snake, I said, I said, man, that thing dead. He said, just wait. We just stood there and waited. That just, just crawled off. I was finna get towed up. Because I was like, he laid it like he was dead. I was gonna keep going. He just hit, he said, just wait. We just waited. That snake sat there for a minute. That just, just crawled off. I said, buddy, it was finna be real bad. You saw that. Them black, listen. Man, what them black road runs snake? Listen, they cross the road so fast, they'll come out of the field. Listen, you look, you said. Listen. Ah, just. <laughs> Cause you like he went crawling, he come to back. Listen, you talking about something moves so fast, this thing come out of one field, it fell on both sides. That thing come across, that thing and straight. You say, what in the world? Listen, you run it. in the country, you take off running. That's all you did was run. Nigga just got slave blood. Run, run, run. And when you run, you hit them, you hit them bungalow. Brr, brr, brr. Try to tell you, get back to Africa, nigga. It was rough, man. Y'all, I need need to take y'all to the country to drop y'all off, these kids, and some of these grown people. That country maker, they they won't make, they won't make it. They need to go down now. But they ain't got no fear. Everybody done sold their field now. Niggas in the country want to smoke crack. Country folk want to smoke. You ain't getting nothing to crack, man. Let me tell you something. You could rally find reefer down now. When they had, when he had salsa meat, them niggas still had reefer. I said brown stuff, man. Who smoked this? I thought this was oregano, some old burnt up oregano. Country way behind. We were smoking green, they still had brown. They were terrible. They couldn't find that. They were terrible down there. Now you go down there, you get more crack than anywhere. Well. Yeah. Country folk wasn't smoking no crack. Man, you had one sis in the whole town, maybe two. That be it. That be it. You ain't have all that now. Now sis. Man you got more sissies, more crackhead, more AIDS, everything down there. Country messed up. It don't take it infected so fast. Everybody trying to be like what they call the city. Man, you take your time now. I go back and say, man, I don't, I don't mind going back now. I ain't going to pick nothing, though. Yeah. Not unless I want to. So I pick it now, I got to understand it. Back then, it was slavery. Right. Right. You know what I'm saying? You want to pick your own stuff. Y'all need to learn how to pick something. Didn't we have some of these kids in the field up here? Yeah. How many of y'all went? How many y'all, did, how many of y'all worked out in the field? What you do? You plant it and pick that? You ain't plant that? You did what kind of duty? Trash duty. Yeah, that's a good one. He planted some barley. Yeah, he and you picking peas. Yes, you will. We got pictures you pick. You got some, we got some before that. You was a little baby. Your mama had on your had you on her back when she was picking billy peas. You wanna see them pictures? You ain't never looked at your back before the mirror happened. Don't do it. Don't do it. Billy got pissed one day and swung. I just remember she did like that. So be careful. Y'all didn't work. Y'all, y'all ain't been in the field. Y'all ain't did no work. What field? You been to? A, you picked strawberry. But they ain't no, they ain't no work. Man, that white folk play. Talk about picking strawberry. Man, ain't that? That's having fun. Yeah, we gotta put y'all in the field. We gotta get that field so these kids can get in the field so y'all learn how. Anything y'all need to learn how to do for yourself. I always want to learn how to do something for yourself. That store stuff about to run out. I see them cut all that Russian product off. Before we just been eating, we don't know who we've been getting food from, what we've been saying. Russians hate these white folks over here. And they've been feeding. That's the only thing I get. You think I'm like, just like me and him, I, me and him don't like each other. In the day, me, you can fight. I'm not eating nothing from this man. That's, that's just dumb. We can't get along, and me and you flying over each other. Call. Why would I eat from, why would you eat from me? Where you think this going? I'll be honest with you, white folks stupid. Yeah. These folks are fighting for them, and you will actually import goods from them. Stuff we would put on your body. The Chinese have been poisoning with toys. They melt the paint. Yeah. Do y'all not know that they lay apart? They've been, they been killing these kids. A lot of y'all, that's why a lot of y'all being derision, you can't pay attention. A lot of y'all, I can see you play with Chinese toys. I play with Tonka toys. All my stuff from America. Good old slave toys. Good old hard slave sweat on. Ain't that right? That is though. No. Y'all grew up, all y'all talk go look, made in Chinese, made in Taiwan. Well, you can't find it in Taiwan no more. We grew up, y'all remember Taiwan, your gold necklace had made in Taiwan. Chinese cut that off. We had that made in Taiwan. We see that stuff in the late 80s. We didn't have all that stuff, all that stuff, man. Your stuff was made in America. 
You have all this stuff now imported from other folk who they hate, they can't get along with. That's dangerous. I'm telling all these folk dumb business people. If I can't get along with, I'm not going to eat nothing from you. Right. Man, you have an issue. No, thank you. Right. I won't be. That don't make no sense. Man, we talking about me and you're going to blow the world up. I'm not eating from you. I don't know. It's a big one. It's a whole lot of work we got to do. Well, most high willing, we'll try to fix some of it. Main thing, if I get y'all to just get on task and do what y'all need to do and follow along and get this thing right. Start with the older people, deal with the young people, so y'all have a pattern. Where your pattern at? Here. Let me see you trace your pattern. That beautiful dots. I see it too. Doing real good. Let me see y'all. Joseph, that's terrible. Joseph jumped, Joseph started here and went back the opposite way. Joseph, what you doing? Let me see you trace your pattern. Come on up here, Joseph, so I can see that. Come on. Come on up here, Joseph. I need to see that. You know what? Let me see Joseph's pattern. Come on, Joseph. Joseph, you know you always causing trouble, don't you? Hold on a minute. What y'all clapping for? He's a good guy. He's a good person. He's a good person. Man, you don't get along, do we? Don't mean you're supposed to be fighting. When are we supposed to be fighting? Last year. Last year? No, we fighting this year. What you mean, last year? Let me see your pattern, Joe. Hold on, let me see. Hold on, let me look at it first. Let me see. All right, let me see. All right, go on, on then. You were doing terrible over there. That's why I called him up. And that man started up that finger and dropped off and went down. I said, it's terrible, right? Huh? But that's right. All my young people need a pattern. That's what you do when you see your parents, you see these people. Look at them. They're supposed to be a pattern. Some you can follow. Y'all got it? Yes, that's, what, that's, that's what we do. For our, for the Akeem, the brethren, and for our cool, the women. That's how I go. It would be a pattern for them. Something they can follow. They don't. They're going to follow that Will Smith show. Mm -hmm. gonna, if not, make no mistake. They ain't the only show they're going to use. They already got TikTok. I, see, I had to see y'all. Y'all had to wait for the white man to put a report saying, what that tell you these folks that they finna sue? What is like seven states finna sue TikTok? Are they going, is it like seven states suing so attorney general going after TikTok? Because they call them mental illness for these kids. What they call them? You ought to pull that story in the house, cousin. It's on the watch of the post. Watch that post said it. I don't know. <laughs> y'all don't see that. These folks done came on, on, on your news and done told y'all about it. Who you gonna say? You ain't seen it. He don't watch it. TikTok ain't gonna put that on him. He said, he said, I don't watch that stuff. You're sadly a medical. <laughs> he said, I don't watch that stuff. You're a medical. But no, that is true, though. I, all this stuff, let me tell you something. They don't prove they've done science. Let me tell you what bad this whole thing. All this about social media. They telling you that what it causes with these kids. Sight, how it's messing them up mentally, how these kids are crashing from being on these social sites. I know they're thinking, not my kid. That's you talking. When you open your, a kid mind not like our mind, they'll absorb stuff and they take stuff for reality that's not intended to be real. And then these kids jump on it and then you got grown people talking. A lot of stuff overload. They mind not strong enough for it. A lot of folks keep telling me, well, I can handle it. You ain't your kid. There's a lot of stuff you can. You can go die any long your kid can. Kid been passed out or something, they're going to die. Ain't, ain't in 20 minutes. Hey, oh. We dying, this child will be, it meant 20 minutes. I thought it was longer than that. And so anyway, you got to work now to kind of look at this stuff. And the, the thing is, China came out last year, and I told you all about it. China got rid of all that stuff. That video game, they said, listen, China done forbid it, that you can only play them video game on the weekend. Try to tell them, that kid can't play that stuff, and it's limited. They'll let them play, they'll get on the computer, let them play during the week. Play, 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 play. And see, now they fucked up showed you. Look how many kids fell in there for this system they got. Because y'all don't let them play so much, they can't follow direction. They, they, they can keep up with who says life, who game banging, who finna get a contract on, on all these social media sites, but they too dumb to keep up in school now. What a teacher here. Now they, listen, attention span ain't there. Let me tell you something. You, you won't have a phone. You won't have a computer. If you can't focus and pay attention and stay on and stay on tab with school, why do these kids have phones? Why do these kids have a laptop? Why do these kids got iPod? Why? Oh, I don't hear them hard now. now they, they don't make comments. How they can stay on social media sites and keep up, but now when they come to school, I can't follow. 
you still got to teach it just on the computer telling you what to do. Well, that's it. You can't. Well, how is the same when you on these social media sites? You can keep up. And you go, oh, they're thinking that. Look at them thinking. You know what? That's a good point. I might have a brain because I don't be on them. <laughs> now I don't have time for that food. I sound like I got to get to Twitter. I'm trying to boycott stuff. I'm trying to boycott Taco Bell, yeah, T-Mobile. I'm sorry. They're Taco. They're Taco. They're the same. They both feed Mexican. They're Taco, T-Mobile, Canada, New Zealand, Australia. Anybody that take away people's rights, we want to we wanna protest these people to we any of that. Now we can't say gay. I'm gonna say gay. I don't make whatever law they go. I'm not going to jail because I say gay and I say gay sissy. Yep. What they look like? You shouldn't be one. Yep. You gonna be a gay sissy? I'm going. You a gay sissy? Mm -hmm. What they tell y'all? Y'all know good. Where well, ain't more gays than how do you folk get to pass these laws? Yeah. And the fact that that straight people. I don't know about that homo. What they call you? Homo what? They're too close to say. Yeah, hell or two. Now, I ain't no hell them. I'm a hemosexual. I'm a him. Hemsexual. I won't be hell of Hell of for somebody else. Now, now, if I wasn't married and I was in the street, I might do hell of too. Hell of be a woman. Come on. See, team. Team three can, can can team three can catch on real quick like that. Yes, See, team two had a look at it like, what? That was? what? <laughs> Put a, a minus five up there by uh, half a point from team two, but not catching on fast enough. <laughs> now he catching on. Now look. Now he catching on. Mainly he catching on. How many y'all look? How many look like team two might be against us? Uh, time. Team two might seem like they're working against them. I'm gonna be keeping my eyes on y'all. Forty-five point behind. They four point five. What they had five point before that. Hey, we already we ain't answer no question this week. Now we we answer questions on uh, on Wednesday. Then we have some challenges. No, we ain't answer no question Wednesday. How y'all got points out? Nobody should have no points. Yet. Everybody should have some minus point. Oh, Mike Cutting, we did get points up. But this is another week, though. This is a new week. So they knew. All right, this is what we're going to do to start this week. Team one had minus, had minus half a point. Team two, I mean, team two has minus a half a point. Who else? Yeah, those are the other weak points right there. This is a new week. Team, yeah, that we leaning. Who won? Who had the most points for last, that last time we did? All right, team three won that way. Yeah. Team three won that way. Yeah. On, on, hold on, between y'all, hold on, between, hold on, team eight, y'all beat them last week? Yes, they did. Oh, they beat y'all. All right, give them congratulations. Good good job. Y'all beat them out. Yeah, so I'm saying, so starting off this week, starting off for this, and y'all got to close it out. Y'all got a lot of stuff up there. I might get y'all out of the way, because I got to be able to teach tomorrow then. So get y'all out of the way. Let's go ahead and get these out of the way so I can come on. Get my, um, oh, they got to sign the Cato Sarah. Then they give me Roman 15, 4, and I get ready to get them. She's getting them points together right quick. What, nine and a half? What he had? Where that man at? Negative six. What that joke supposed to be? The weather in Ukraine? That's terrible. That is terrible. That is terrible. Y'all, uh, I know this here. This that social media. This that social media. I'm telling you, it, it's that social media got y'all doing. I know it is. This, it's a TikTok. It got to be a TikTok, right? No, sir. No, sir. Yeah, watch out. Yeah. Uh, you heard it before. <laughs> These are fun. Y'all guys. Y'all ought to be ashamed of yourself. Be ashamed of yourself. And you done, done messing with young folks over. What future y'all going to be with it? Y'all done got messed up from these people over here. All right, let's go. Uh, he'll sign, they going to sign the car toast for We'll stand in the plow.
All right. All right. Most high could not be in the shame of Yahushua, Yahushua HaMashiach. I do for what you've done and given unto us and even this opportunity to be the yakra upon your shem, which is to call upon your name, baraka us and limit us and grant us the ruach hakadash, which is to instruct and show us the spirit and grant us the spirit of separation. That we might be sealed unto the human redemption. Um, asking you to blot out all of our kata and our ma'al, which are our sins and our transgressions. Baraka us according to the berif you shabbat unto Abraham. Yatsakak, Yakob, the Yahudim and Yasharal, to their Tuladoth, which are their generations, even unto us and to our Tuladoth, that you might recover us before Salam too late, which is forever. Uh, Baraka, those that are watching in, and those that ask us Palau for me with them, and those we commit you in Palau, that you grant them their lost desire. Be a Baraka to the out of towns and strengthen them with all and be done to Be with those that are going through diverse and different situations and circumstances beyond their control that seek you for refuge behind prison walls and war stricken country. Um, <clears throat> those that are bereaved, strengthen them and be their consolation. Uh, Barack us all that we might. Uh, let our whole lob, which are our minds, and our whole lobs of our hearts be continually upon you, that we don't falter and we don't faint. Search us and see if there be any Rasha to rock, which are any evil ways, cast it from us, and lead us in the Arak everlasting, which is the way of life. Let the debar of our paw, which are the words of our mouth, let the meditation of our lobs, which is of our hearts, be acceptable in your own, which is in your sight. And as we prepare to move further, we pull out, in which we ask that you take full control, that you get the tahalim, the praise, the kabood, the glory, and the kabod, the honor. In the Shem, which is the name of Yahushua, Yahushua HaMashiach. Let us all say, Amen. Appreciate that. You know, open that up for me. Appreciate it. Now open it up if I need one out of that. Y'all got to keep an extra one. Well, um... Um, we'll go back to the other one, we'll say, for a little bit. Roman 15, what they saw there was a Latin Vulgate. It's amazing, they tell you when you say something kind of inappropriate, that's called it vulgar. And now we look at the Vulgate. Okay. Roman 15 and 4, this is the Beth HaMashiach. We'll transfer, transform, <coughs> move, try something different. Let's see. Listen. For whatever Nikatab before. For whatever was written before. Nikatab for our law. Was limit, written to show us and to teach us. That we through endurance. Going through something without. Don't quit. That's all it is. Not quitting. If you give up or give away, that means you quit. Okay? And through. Nakum. That's right. Looking to receive a prize. Uh, the kid too being might have teeth. Did, did you follow? Was you in the spirit or something? Yeah. I'm looking at him, man. I thought he had him fell out or something. <laughs> yeah, of the writings, we might have an attachment. I appreciate that. We're going to try to go ahead and get some of these uh, questions out of the way so we can move forward. Y'all got, got a lot of them, too, don't you? Yes. Yes. So we'll see the questions come. All right, yes. They get them uh, They said the reason they lost Team Eight and why y'all won because they challenged Team Nine and a Half. But what happened to Team Nine and a Half? Y'all didn't get y'all point. Oh, y'all didn't write it. Well, y'all. Well, we got we got somebody back there writing. We'll keep up with it, and she help out. Chanel help out with it, so she keep up with it too. They always challenging. Well, we make sure we keep up with it. You let us know. All right, we are gonna get ready. What we got up there? What's our first question? Y'all got a lot of them bagged up, don't you? How many of y'all feel like y'all got pretty much everyone y'all put in got them right? I know that right. Y'all ain't putting that in. Joe got a hand up over him. All right, let's see what we got. What you got, Dave? Uh-oh. So this is about pressure. Yes, sir. That was on Wednesday. Oh. Oh, something similar to this. Yeah, it's been bad. This is about pressures. When I asked y'all a question about pressures, because pressures was based off of a definition. 
Okay. That's what we're looking. That's what we're looking at based off of the definition of something precious. So based on it was of a thing or a substance or a resource of great value, not to, not to be wasted. So I asked y'all about based off of, of great value. Okay, based off of great value, I would ask y'all and then looking at precious. So we're gonna look at what else? Y'all remember that one? How many people answered that question? What? How many groups? They gonna tell five. Five people answered. What were the five groups? This y'all need to pay attention so y'all know who y'all. One. Hold on. Six. One. One. Three. Three. Four. Four. And five. Five. So I'm the person that answered group four. Group four. You can challenge unless you answer. Yep, that's right. You can't challenge. Y'all challenge everybody. No, no, Hold on, did we discuss that? Hold on, did we discuss that question? Yes, sir, we did. Yes, we did. Oh, no. Your challenge is done. Team two didn't answer anyway. Well, he can't, well, he can't do it. Listen. <laughs> hold on, Justin. Hold on for a minute. Justin, hold on. Hold on. Bust it. Why, let me get this straight. The man said, I'm not going to challenge nobody. Then he came and said, I'm not going to change my mind. That's the he did for that day. Well, they said we done discussed it, so he can forget it anyway. So who want to challenge this? All right, what they, who they challenging? All right, they challenging, hold on, they challenging. Team seven is challenging team six. Who else is challenging? No other challenges. This all I got is team seven is challenging team six. Team eight, are y'all asleep? What are y'all doing? Y'all elaborate. Yeah, I got about a few more seconds. I got elaboration. Where is nine and a half at? Is nine and a half out there still an answer? Appreciate that. Well, that's a nice one, yeah. Oh, nice, yeah. That's my nice one. All right. So we only got, yes, yes, ma'am. Y'all go challenge six. Team six is being challenged. What did, how many points did we give on the challenge? One, what was it? Two. Somebody said 50. Alan, I know, I'm like, I gave 50 on a challenge? He, I know he, he cracking up. So two points. So if they challenge six, two people are challenging team six. So if, if y'all got it right, y'all pick three people. Who else challenged them? Seven, four, eight. Seven, four, and eight. Yeah, they answered. Seven, four, and eight. Okay. All right, let's see what the answer is. Y'all don't see the answer? We want to hear the answers. Y'all want to hear the answers? Yeah. All right, let's hear the answer. All right, Dave. Team six. Team, uh oh. Olive, Shamuel, three and one. <laughs> Team one. Mm -hmm. Matthew Yahoo, 26 and seven. Hold on, it, Team one. Matthew Yahoo, what? 26, 26 and seven. 26? 26. Matthew Yahoo, 26 and 7. It could could have been sold for 300 pence and given to the poor. No, I know, but you know what? What they said, I, I know why they got it. Who know how they got that? Who know? She raised her hand. Hold on. Your hand raised. What you, what you think? You got it? No, no, I already know why they said it. Well, that's why they did. No, I know why they why they got it was because they were talking about he wasted it. When they when they poured it when the woman poured it on Yahushua, she busted the alabaster box. So they're looking at it based off of the complete definition. That's why they went with it was precious ointment and that it was wasted. Yehuda said that they wasted it by pouring it on him. So we talk about something being precious, something being wasted. Okay, Yahushua told them clearly that the poor you have what you always. Me, you only have for a short period of time. All right, what's the next one? Team three. Team three. How shall we escape if we neglect so great salvation? Mm. Team five. Uh-huh. We then must give more heed to the things which we have heard, which we, I guess they heard, if we neglect so great salvation. Who said that? Team five? Team five. Team Aubrey, five and team three Second been hanging child. out together. Where are we going? Team four. Team four. And those y'all mean that the bar was precious. 
three and one, all of them all. Three and five, six. No, three and one. Three and two, something like that. Who said that? That's what Team Four said. Team Four and Team Six said the same thing. That's correct. Yes, sir. Hmm. I guess we can look at what I was thinking, huh? Oh, yeah, Team Nine and a Half, what you say? He right there. Right here, he right here. Wait, hold on for a minute. No, no, you're not finna sit back and be stealing from them, Joker. He'll steal the answer. He, oh, yeah. Who said that? You said that. You said that. He said that. You said that. Oh, you would've been right, let's see it. Marshall Lee, 31 and, and one. Let's see what it says. Yeah. Oh, you heard the answer? Did you hear anybody call that one? <laughs> Always. Yeah. Let me see. I might. I might look at that. Let me look at the answer though. Let's see. Let's see what thirty-one and one says. A Marshal Lee. They call proper. All right. This one not gonna read the same. I'm sorry. Thirty-one and ten. Move over from now and uh, well, I don't know how he. How this one gonna read? Now, what's up, Thirty-one and ten. Is it ten? Yes, sir. And then we can look at how he is read as well. But this is Septuagint, transformed, translated, transgender again in the English. 31. It's not, oh, it's 29. And here's number differently. For husband, maiden. Hard, so yeah, 10, 30, it starts him at the end of 29. Let's see what he told you. Listen. Who can find a virtuous Asha? Which gonna say a Kail. Yes, sir. Who can find Kail? For her price is far above rubies. For such a one is more valuable than We definitely don't want her to be above salvation. They put it in that one, but when you look at it, and then it goes down to tell you why. Now, when you look at what he told you, because you're looking at something that's going to be rare, that's going to be hard to find. So when you look at who shall find a Kyle ish Isha woman, Kyle for soldier. It's the other definition as well. Um, for such a one is more valuable than Precious stones, and that said rubies. The lob of her husband or her ish trusted in her. Y'all see this? Yes, sir. Then drop down to the end of this. Because we talked about, what did we say precious was? Of a substance? Resource. Resource. Okay, he found her. A great value not to be wasted or treated carelessly. Precious works of art. This is just a statement they put here. Okay? A great value. That's what we found out about her, didn't we? She was a great value. Alright, let's see what it told us at the end. Since we, Because it went down through to tell us about stuff about it, but we want to get here. At verse 29. Uh, many Banuth have obtained many have wrought valiantly but thou hast, thou hast, so what her value like when you done did born to anybody else? All right, this is what I want to do. I got another question going to come up based off of her excelling them all. There was somebody testified about them doing similar. Okay, all right, I just need it on paper. All right. All right. 
Y'all got it? So on this one, we'll we'll look at uh I don't know, y'all might not get the points for that other one. On um uh, on Olive Shamwal. Y'all might get points for that one. The people that, that went against them might not get their points. Look at let's look at uh the Olive Shamwal, the third chapter. They're called um First Samuel. Olive Shamwal. Three and one. So four and six answer that one. That was not what I was thinking about in my answer when I when I looked at precious. All right. Three and one. Let's see. Listen. And the Yalit Shemuel Sharath unto Yahuwah before Ali and the Debar. Of Yahuwah was precious in those Yamin. There was no open kazoom. Hold on for a minute. Listen, hold on. Start for a second. To Yahuwah before Ali, the Kohan, and the Debar of the Alahim, of the Yahuwah was precious, precious in those Yamin. Let's see why. There was no open kazoom. He said distinct kazoom. Yeah, I'm going to have to get credit on that one. I gotta get a I gotta get a bar of precedence over her. But that's not what I was thinking about when I answered. But I won't take no points from y'all. You won't lose points. Those that vote y'all won't take no points. The only reason I take only reason I do that because simply because it was. It gave a distinction why. Because in those days it what you couldn't find it. Which we'll tell you at one time, and what makes a thing become of value is because of the rare quantity of it. That's what, yeah, well, yeah, well, yeah, yeah. That's, that's commerce, that's money on that end of doing it, supply and demand. But for on Yahuwah end, that's why he views those that are kudash to be a special treasure. Because there's not a lot of people can do this. People don't believe it. You know, you might think there's a lot of people doing it. They're actually not. Just because you're keeping Shabbat don't mean you're doing it. Because he told you, even when it came down to uh, Kael, they are called a virtuous woman, the, per, the, the problem was with her, if you look, her value because of what she did, she went above. And that's the thing I try to get you guys to do, especially my king. I mean, and, and even to the Aku, it's so important for you guys to meet and be above standard. Like people say, well, you know, basically, like, when these people give out and grade what they do a man, their standards are very low. A man can be a homosexual. A man is not homosexual. It's not happening. Okay? These are weak, cowardly behaviors. For a man to try to emulate or to try to try to mark the behaviors of a woman, it's weak. It's weak and cowardly. I mean, even the book comes down to declare in the first in First Corinthians six chapter. What is the word effeminate? He refer, he refers that to a weak a cowardly man that has behaviors of a woman. Y'all got it? That is an effeminate. So this, I would, I would never, and he said these people were worthy of death. Mm. Poor man had he behaved. That's why we push so hard with young people, young people to correct behaviors and people to think they're okay is wrong. Let's see what the definition for effeminate, please. See, all these behaviors, how they get going, is people ignore, people don't address, and you let go, and people think they're not harmful. They're very harmful. They're destructive. People say, well, he just got behaviors like that, but he ain't gay. You ain't got to be gay to be condemned. Right. You just got to have the behaviors. Right. He said, those behaviors of a coward. Why wouldn't you be a man? Oh, that's, uh, the effeminate. There we go. Let's see. This is what he said. Of a man. You say they put this in brackets. Having or showing characteristics regarded as typical of a un. So I, I, I tell a man won't do it. He's not going to do it. I stay on top of y'all for that stuff. You got to look at it. Y'all see it? It's an adjective. It's derogatory. 
That's a negative impact for a man to have womanish ways. Y'all say of or showing characteristics. You know what I'm saying? Regarded as typical of a woman, unmanly. They put it in brackets. It says of a man because the woman came out from the man. She's of the man. So when he took the woman out of the man, you ain't got no business with it. Yep. Yeah. Period. No business with it. And this is dangerous because our book teacher what's going to happen to these people. He said, you can't even be saved. You can't even be saved with it. Never had a deal pickle in your mouth or you behind. He said, you can't be saved. Because it's not like what he made. He said he's going to make each in his image and in his likeness. That meant that man has to demonstrate him publicly. He declared that Allahim was an Isha war. Y'all know that? He ain't got no business with her. You supposed to show behavior like a man. Stuff y'all see women do, you ain't got no business doing. That's what I tell y'all I said. Open your legs so your nuts can breathe. Yeah, right. Men don't sit like this. We don't do that. That's a woman do it. She got to dress a skirt on. If it's wrong for me to say nut, don't you gonna order no peas either. Don't you do that last part behind me. Let your goobles breathe. Man, poor said leg gotta breathe. Women say they thigh stuff. Man, my knee will hurt that. I don't know how you got it. Cat muscle about to lock up. Women made for that stuff. Man ain't made for that. They got a bow on them. Man got a pecker. Yep. Ain't that right? He got goobles. He ain't got no business sitting like that. All right. Got a teacher. Let me tell you something. A man, a, a, a boy don't know how to be a man that's your teacher. Right. Right. You can't leave stuff to their own. What, what people do, their certain behavior they'll pick up, but they'll be bad till you can train them on when to use them and how things should. Same thing with a woman. You got a teacher. You got a teacher. You ain't got no business sitting like she riding no horse. They tell her, I'm a girl. They say, girl, what's wrong with you? You ain't riding no horse. Uh-huh. Y'all remember they tell them, close your leg. I'm talking about lip over. Well, that's some other reason, but they tell you, you let you ride on a horse. Hey, y'all, how many of y'all remember you say stuff like that? They just tell her your leg. They say, girl, what's wrong with you? You ain't riding no horse. Close your legs. You got to teach them. Teach them how a woman, teach them how a woman how to conduct herself, how she had to carry herself. You teach a young man how he got to carry himself. So when they grow up, guess what? You set a pattern. A lot of times they'll be thinking that stuff all right. No, it ain't all right. You got to cut it off. It's a hill against it. Y'all understand? Y'all, y'all, y'all writing it down? Y'all, y'all writing it down? Y'all remember that? Don't I mean, let nobody be trying to talk about, oh, see, the Latin, even they knew that stuff. The Latin, they know where it come from. Come from the Latin word. The Latin knew what they had. They got plenty of sisters over there wrong. Now they tear them little boys up in church over there. They had the same cathedral. Tear them up in them cathedral. Ain't it true? Hold out all them nuns. They chain their nun to get, chain their name to get plenty. Telling that lie. Terrible. They cheat. They cheat. Team six cheating again. Isn't that right? Team six cheating. Yes, Take a half point for team six. You know what I'm saying? Young people say they were cheating. Ain't it? Y'all didn't get y'all a point. They got to suffer some kind of way in it. So they got their two points on that one. So we'll go to team four and team six. We'll give them on that because that's true because we're going with something precious and rare. So I understood why y'all got y'all answer from though. Because y'all were going with the wasted part, too. I didn't want me to, that's true. And that's what, when some, that's what happens when it begins to be down to a small portion, you attend to God it more. When you got abundance of something, you don't think a lot of it. When you get out like people say, then my last dime, my last little bit, you attend to God and watch how, like some favorite color I had. You had that yeah. stuff, and that stuff get low. You got to, you can't skeet it much. You got to spread that yeah. thing. Yeah. You can't take that type of air water like you do Kool-Aid. They make sure that, listen, they know if a nigga can get that top out and pull a little water into that thing, I ain't never come back to the store. Yeah. I been around make 15 bottles for one. You get pose on a little water, pose on, add them things. Man, you have cologne for the rest of your life. The bad time I do it. That man got so many glad chips in there, he done bust that little end out of there. You know what I'm saying? That glad fight. Every time he rub it on, he just cut himself. <laughs> man, like a roast with razor blade been cutting him up. <laughs> So now, this is what we have to look at. So we're considering these things because these are things we have to know. What happened, even with church or religious organization, 
in a, even with us, you get comfortable and you'll assume there are things that people just know. People don't just know nothing. They don't. They don't know nothing till it's taught, till it's addressed, until it's enforced. That's why he constantly had them to go back. Every time he cut them down on something, he would come right back and reinforce it on. You've been told this. You were taught this. That's why he was so angry with Adam. Yeah, it wasn't no reason for say, you know what, I should have went over this with you. He said, you ate of what I told you not to do. So you knew before you done it. He said, curse going to be the Adama for your sake. See that, you called, why, why, you talking about he cursed the ground. Why y'all think things are so bad and so hard for us now? Each ain't learned from Adam. We have not learned. And it's bad because we're not looking at the detriment. People talking about just the Russia situation. Look at the weather in general. Look how we were coming up like it was warming all up now. We're freezing. We're looking at snow precipitation tomorrow in some parts of Georgia. They made it then sunny in the 20s. Record low they recorded was in 19. 19 degrees in this time of year when they call it March. You who are angry with us. Yet man ain't trying to get no better though. And that, now we got to go back and address all this stuff because we're trying to put things in order. That's why he said, that's why he said tired of death. He said, my own being, after the common I'm enough. He let him know, for this call, that's why I left you to set things in order. Mark mimicking who? Tell him louder. Tell him what you said. What you said? Yours wrong, he wrong too. Tell him, Azra. Tell him what Azra did. Okay, we're going to look at Adam. Adam, Adam. That's why he said now to put things in order. You use back in order. You're right. See, the word prepare you back. When you say back, that means I already had an order. So he did say now he put the books in order. He came and put things, him and with knock them y'all. They set things back in order. And I already set it back in order because they went back over the protocol of what they should have been doing. But for Adam, Adam set things in order He because things had never been ordered. All they, had, they just had been established. If he had left it to itself, the gun to itself, you can't, because you give orders, you got to have somebody to get, make sure they keep them. Yeah. That was the whole purpose he was there. Make sure it keep that way. And you see something like it moving that way? That's not the way he left it. Then I got to set it back in order. Same thing we have to do here. We'll take things for granted. These kids be all over the place. They be doing what they want. Well, they pretty much doing that now sometimes with y'all. Oh, it is just terrible. But we'll fix it. That's what I'm here for, set it in order. It can't, and that's, that's not a bad thing. That's what we do. For all of us, we all got to have order. That's right. You give a man a book and let a man take his cell. I, listen, I ain't seen so many self taught people. I ain't never seen one of them straight yet. Nope. I ain't never seen. When they get that cut, you know what? They left their own derision. They left their own interpretation of things, and they just off somewhere. They just making up stuff. I seen folks that they just cut. They go. They start reading to what they want to do. This ain't about what I want to do. If I want to be saved, then I got to follow what he already established. There is no other protocol he set outside of what he set for standing to be saved. Well, you got to understand everything in the book. Well, I'm going to go with what I got to give me something else. Let me get this right before I get before I try to run something else. There's some more books out here. Let me get what I got right first. If I go get them books and I ain't got it right, I'm doing make a mess. See, you got someone incomplete. You got to get all the other ones. Everybody claim they got them all over the place. Show me one person got all them books that doing it right. I'm telling you, they, they shacking up. Oh, you, oh, okay. <laughs> you don't let them trick you in a marriage license. The man in the book don't tell you how to get a bill of divorcement. You got to have some sort of ownership. I don't know why these people come up here. Y'all, y'all think these folks just run around ain't had no paperwork. What you think the tour was? Paperwork. I don't know where these folks come up with that stuff from. Don't y'all know them folks out there. You, know, you think these folks walk up. That's my land. Where y'all get this stupid stuff from? That's white folks stuff. Yo. Don't y'all know these people had paperwork? That's right. Huh? Say that year of y'all. Say that 30. One, 32. Let me say 32 and 1. Yeah, I'm Yahoo. Man, folks ain't about some stupid fools out here. We around here trying to find a reason to get out of something. Who said that 32? They said, man, they were going into captivity. So 30. See if I 30 and 1. Let's see if it's 30 and 1 is what I want. So 
Man, what up, third? One. 31 10 should be. That's why. Da, 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 da. Should have been Yahoo went in the prison. 31 10. 32 and 10. All right, 32 and 10. 32 and 10. Let's see what he did. How about that? <laughs> well, what do we do? This one, because we're using the Septuagint, they number differently, correct? So it got to go back. So it's going to probably fall back. I'm going back in. It probably takes me back over to 31. Let's probably come home. Let's see. Let's see what happens. Take me up to about eight. No, seven. We'll come on. Come on, seven. We'll come down. Let's see. All right. Da, 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 da. Let's go. Hold on. Da, 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 da. All right. Let's see what he told us. Listen. Behold, and a meal, the ben of Shalom, thine uncle shall come unto thee, saying, By thee, my field that is in. Hold on a second. What do you want to come unto thee, saying, Do what now? By me, by thee, my field that is in Anathoth. For the, for the right of redemption. How many of y'all how many, how many don't know where Anathar at? Hey, okay, they're going to be in the land of Benjamin. Mm. That's all important for you to know because Yerim Yahoo is going to shoot from that stem. So they're going to deal with Benjamin. All right. For the right of redemption. Oh, is for the right of who now? Redemption. Let me see why, man. So I know me in the court. Hold on. Hold on, hold on. Okay, okay. The right to take it as a purchase is thine to buy it. So Hannah Mial, mine uncle's Ben, came to me in the court of the prison according to the Debar of Yahuwah and said unto me, Do what? By my field, I applaud thee that is in Anathoth, which is in the country of Benjamin. I didn't even know that. Look on that. I already know where it was at. Let's see what he told you. For the right of inheritance is thine. Okay, for the right to buy it. And? The redemption and the redemption is thine. Oh, this reading telling me that is it? Just, for thou hast a right to buy. It said a right of redemption, so it's telling me he got a right to buy it. Okay, so that's gonna make sense for y'all then, right? Cause we look at our redemption. We well, told you, you see all these things. What he told you, come upon the rock. What he told you to do? Why? Your redemption. Brother. See that? So you're right. See, look, he's telling him what well, they put in redemption. He said the right to do it is yours. It became yours. Y'all got it? Mm -hmm. Benjamin, what, the son of my days? Yes, sir. That's good. So is Yahushua, because he told him to sit on his right hand. That's how he connect to him. The fact that he told him to sit on his right hand. All right? So let's say son, say son on the right hand, but the son of his days, okay? So he told him, thou has a right to buy it, okay? And thou art the, the elder, Zakan the elder. Zakan mm -hmm. for one, Zakanim is plural. That's good. You still good. Zakanim is more than one. So he is. The, so he's letting him know that he's the elder. So are Yahushua. Hello. Mm -hmm. So I knew that it was the. The bar. Oh, uh, who? Yahuwah. Other uh, the Yahuwah. You ain't gonna realize that's why Yahushua came and he came and redeemed us. He knew it was the bar of Yahuwah. Mm -hmm. He had a right to redeem us. That's right. Hello. Yes, sir. The book tried to tell you, hold on for a minute. That, that, what was he probably doing with the field? He was probably doing what? Buying. What's another word for buying? Purchase. 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 Yeah. That's how they pick this up. Let's see how they work out. Pick me up, see if that's Acts of the Charlotte King, 20. See if that's 20. See if it's 18. Let's see if it's 20, 18. That's what I want. Y'all got to work with me. My memory is just. I know what I'm talking about, though. What's that one? 20, 14, 18. Mm. You can do it in the Latin Vogue. I don't know how you'll read. Let's see. We'll see how I read over here. That's fine. I said 20. Oh, they ain't got a 20. Oh, man, you, I said, man, they ain't put a 20 on him. Oh. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, oh. 
20 and 28. Slide down. Because it'll read different. He says 20, 28. I said, oh, yeah, come back, come back, come back down. 27. I start 27. This is uh, the <coughs> Shalak, they call Apostle Shaul. He's letting the Zakanim know what they need to do. And let's see what happens. For I did what? For I have not shunned to declare unto you all the counsel of, of Elohim. Said, For I did not keep back from declaring to you all the counsel of Elohim. What did we say counsel was? Recommendation for a course of Exactly. Recommendation. People need to know that. People go to a counselor. Y'all was just coming, y'all used to go see your counselor in school. And why did you go and see them? Because they were cute. Some of y'all probably did. Why did you go to Yeah, pretty much. He said, well, I got this thing around my neck. So why did you go and see your counselor? Because they will give you, that's right. So they will give some recommendations on what you need to do based upon what you were trying to do. So Shaul was letting them know, for I did not keep back from declaring to you all of the recommendation for a course of behavior of Elohim. That's important for us to know. Let's see what he told us. Listen, therefore. Take heed, therefore, unto yourselves. You said what, what you said about keeping up with other people? Take heed, therefore, unto yourselves. And? To all the Adah. And to all the flock. Over the which the Ruach HaKadosh. Had made you what? Overseers. Oh, to make you a Ra'a. To what? Feed the Adah of Elohim. To shepherd, because the feed going to go together. Listen to that. To shepherd the assembly of. Which he hath purchased with his own dom. Now I got to ask myself, what right did he have to do that? Because the right of redemption of purchase was his. That's what I do. And you know how he got it? He was exalted. Yeah. You, you know where Yem Yahoo was? He was in prison. He was in the lower part. You ain't gonna believe what happened when he took it. He was exalted. That's his name, Yem Yahoo. Yeah, who exalted him? See how it makes sense? See that? Which he purchased with his own. You ain't gonna believe it. Guess how Yem Yahoo purchased the field? With his own money. He had the right. Don't forget, he was the elder. <clears throat> Come on back over here, Yem Yahoo. So I can get these non paperwork niggas. This is 32. Where we at now? Uh -huh. Where we left out? Still concluding at, at 8. So I knew that it was the debar of the. Yahoo. And I, the what? Yeah. Of animal, animal, and animal. <laughs> Why do they, how do they have his name in there? Same way. And uh, oh well, with an H, animal. Animal, yeah. Animal. animal. All right. The <laughs> bend of my Abba's ark, and I weighed him. Seventeen shots of silver. And I, the I wrote it in a what? And then what I did? Sealed it. Sealed it. And took the testimony of the who? Witness. Witness it. And weighed the money in the on the balance. Cause I got cause I have just weight. That's right. I ain't said, hey, here goes 17 pieces of silver. Now I had to weigh it. I had to weigh it, because we had to have to just weight. Just him. That's how I got to do He said I had to weigh it. So he purchased, so when he purchased the field, he purchased it with his own blood. I'm sorry, with his own money. Hello? Let me see what happened. And then what he did, weighed the money in a balance, <coughs> and I took the Ooh. book of the, that was sealed. And I gave it to Ooh. Barak, the being of Narias, the being of Messiah, Mess. Ma Sias. How's it run? How's it saying that so I get a book? Twelve. Masaya. Mas Sia, yeah. Masaya. Sia. In the sight of animal, my ox, my bit abba's brothers. Ox. Oh, his hold on, my abba's big ox son. In the sight of the unashamed that stood by, and knew what they did, and did what? And a book of the what? Purchase. I don't know where these folks get this none paperwork stuff from. Hmm. Mm -hmm. We well, don't play that stuff, get you some paperwork. Yeah. What are they gonna do with that? Man, wait, and then he said, I had witnesses. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. You ain't gonna believe it. you get this stuff. People don't know if you don't bought house mm -hmm. You had to have the attorney that they bring in somebody to seal it and be a witness. Mm -hmm. And it be recorded. Guess what you can do? You know how you gonna find out anybody's stuff recorded? You can go right to the courthouse and they'll give you a book. You or we'll look through a book. The yep. book will show who's deed. That's right. It's in a book. It ain't on no pamphlet. There are books they will open. You can open and look and see who owns it. My man got books. I don't pay these people no attention to that fool. But that what happen. You'll get all this stuff and start jamming all these books up together. You be out in your own world. That's not my goal. I ain't trying to get in my own world. I'm trying to make sure I'm making the mouth cool. Yes, so I don't pay all that stuff no attending folk run around here and tell me I don't get no paperwork. I'm not impressed with it. I'm really not impressed. This man, this man in jail, why he care? It's the word of your hood. What you need paperwork for? Mm -hmm. And you had to have witnesses. Because the book done told you at the mouth for how many? Let every what? He said, let me be established. We can't take nobody no one word. We need some witnesses. Make sense? All right, let's get our next question. We just jumped off on that. That was just for GP. That's for non paperwork niggas. There are plenty of them niggas out here. What we got? What's our next question? That's tight. That's tight. That man gonna fight for that oil land. If I'd have hollered wasted it, if I'd have got the rest of that wasted, you would have had a you'd have had a good move on it. Let's go back and look at it. I'll look at it. Look at the twenty-sixth chapter. That should be the twenty-sixth chapter book of Matthew Yahoo. What's that? Verse seven? About seven. Oh, I I couldn't remember what they said. I would actually Let me see what it says. Matthew Yahoo, this is the answer to the first question. Let's see what happens. Listen. There came unto him a Asha, having an alabaster box of very precious ointment, and poured it on his head as he sat at meat. As he reclined to eat. Mm -hmm. But when his Talmudim saw it, they had any indignation, saying, Upset. to what purpose is this waste? Mm. Okay. For this ointment might have been sold for much and given to the poor. It would have been appropriate for this perfume to be sold for a high price and to be given to the poor. Mm. I'll give you points on it. I'll get points on it. Yeah, I'll get points on it. It's not what I'm looking at, but I mean, based on how he wrote it, and he even came back to, to say, I know how they write in the English on what they said. I was watching him as well. But he said it could have been sold for a high price. Versus it could have, I think it just said on your, it could have been sold. Yes, sir, for much. Always said for much. for much. And then he said for a high price. It couldn't have gotten a lot, so it was expensive. And do anybody have any idea why it would have been expensive for them? Why they would have looked at it that way? Them rare and precious. We had ointments that were set, apothecary, I think it records in the old, in our first uh, barith, first, what they're called the Old Testament. And it told you about how, to, how he prescribed for his to be made. And you weren't even supposed to pour it on man's flesh. That's why I told you about a lot of stuff. He said the one that we made up for him, it wasn't to be poured on men's flesh. It was for Yahuwah. That's how you look at the frankincense and myrrh, different things people mix together. That's why I tell y'all certain stuff I won't let y'all put together. Simply because he told you you're not supposed to pour it on men's flesh. He says not pour. I don't see they, these grooves. I have, they do the, what is? He said the 34th chapter, the 35th chapter of the book of uh, Ooh Allah Shemu. What am I looking? What am I looking? 36, 30, some of 37, 35, 32. Can't be 30. 30 and two. 30, 32. So jump to 27. 30. All right. Ooh, Allah Which means these are the names. What's that? 
Let's see. Let's see how far I got on. Been a long time. Let's see what 27. Let's see. Oh, 27. Let's say 27. Let's say. So he's telling them how they're establishing everything, and all of this is the all this is the furniture, and the candlestick, which is gonna be the lampstand. What we're gonna hold, hold, and all this furniture, and the altar of incense. Twenty-eight. What? Twenty-five. Oh, go. Okay, it's the apothecary. What I'm saying. Twenty-five is what he's saying. Twenty-five. Where's twenty-five starting out? All right. Okay. And thou shalt make it kudash, Mashiach, where anointing is Mashiach. This is the oil. A perfume ointment tempered by the art of the perfumer. It shall be a kudash, Mashiach oil, and thou shalt Mashiach with it the tabernacle, which is going to be the mashkan of witness, and the ark, and the ark is a haran, right? Haran. Like Aaron, Aharon, I think it is, of the Mashkan of, of witness, and all of its furniture and its lampstand, it's saying candlestick, and all its furniture and the altar, which is not Taba, is a, of incense, and all and the altar of the whole burnt offering and all of its furniture, and the table and all of its furniture, and the lever, le, le, lever, and thou shalt. Kudash, sanctify them, and they which is set them aside, and they shall be most Kudash. Everyone, everyone that touches them shall be Kudash, hollow. Hollow is consecrated. And thou shalt Mashiach, Aharon, and his Benin, and, uh, and Kudash them, which is sanctified, set them aside, that they may shareth to me as the Kohanim, and thou shalt speak to the benim of Yasharal, saying, This shall be to you a kudash Mashiach oil throughout your Tuladah. On men's, it shall not be. That's why I would look at to them, put this stuff on this man. You heard they said somebody else could have wore it. It could have been sold. That's why it was Mashiach. Hello? Oh, y'all want to see how that works? Y'all don't think that's interesting? Yeah, most of y'all didn't know this, did you? That's why, that's why I tell you. A lot of y'all be grabbing stuff, grabbing all kind of oil, running around here with this stuff. I said, I don't know what these people be doing. A lot of stuff, just leave stuff alone. Put you some good old soap and bath water on that behind first. Wash that thing good. So, y'all don't know how they work? I see. Pick me up, say that book, uh, uh, Abarim chapter 1. Pick up 1. One and six. Abarine, they call it uh, Hebrews. I don't know who made that bill, but I know Allah made the word. That's what he tells you. That's what he told us. This is one and six. Listen. And again, when he bringeth in the first begotten into the alarm, he saith, and let all the Malachim, uh, Allahim, shakar him. That's right, shakar prostate, bow themselves to him. Listen. And of the Malachi, he saith, they, uh, who maketh his Malachi, Ruach, and his Sharath, a flame of fire. Yes. But unto the being, he saith. Uh, uh, but, now this is what he did to the being, he said. Thy throne. Yo, who? Throne. Oh, who? Allahim. Is? Alam and alam. And? A scepter of Sadiq. He said straightness. Isn't that right? Is? The scepter of thy Malkuth. Let's see that. He told y'all how the gate was straight. Yes, sir. Let's see what happened. Thou hast Ahab, Sadiq. Y'all see what he did? He a harp that and hated iniquity. He hate lawlessness to go against it. Therefore, Allahim, who even thy Allahim, I couldn't imagine what he did. Hath Mashiach thee with the oil of gladness above How? thy fellows. See that? That's why you can put it on him and not on you. Yeah. Don't put it on men's flesh. Enough for you to be one. His <laughs> Moscow dots. Hello. It was Moscow dots. They let it put it on him. He said, therefore, your Allahim, he Mashiach you above your companions. 
You just got to know what you're doing. That's all. Maybe I ought to go to school for this stuff. That messed me up, get me off, ain't it? See, that's what you had to pay attention to. When he let you know about it, he told you, you're not supposed to put it on unseen flesh. It's for all of the furnishing, for all the things that's to be used. On the mashkan, all that can be used. And our haroon and his benin. Put his most kudash. And it's consecrated. On unashamed flesh, is not to be poured. That's why I want no problem she busted and put it on him. That's right. Because Allah, he had Mashiach him above his companion. That's right. You saw when he told you that they were with him, what they did. They had indignation. Yeah. Yeah. Ain't nobody about Mashiach me. See, the thing was with him, he a hard Sadiq. Yeah. He hate lawlessness. Right. He hate when he see people go against the Torah. That's the difference. So you got to start looking at how you got to split yourself in a different position. Got it? Oh, we don't want to forget. Let's get these questions. We've probably been answering questions. No, we've probably been answering questions. We done left topic. So let's go ahead and look at the next one. So that's why I gave, I gave you point, but I had to show why, too. Because he told me most could die. Let me tell you something. When I give people point, I'm going to try to think, I, don't, I ain't going for no favors or nothing. I got to make sure it's still right. So we look at it, it's still, it most because he said most could die. So they'll get points for that. They'll get their points. Team one, team six, team four get their points. Well, man. <laughs> what that man say? Hold on, hold on, nigga. Yeah, hey, you know what? I want to machine out that man. So that man said, "Listen, that man said you say you weren't going to answer no question. You say I changed my mind. You say you weren't going to change your mind." <laughs> I said, "That man said I'm just thinking. Who said I ain't going to? I ain't going to change my mind." <laughs> he did. That time, I won't be known. Y'all remember him saying that? He said for the he said for this quick. <laughs> you know what? Uh, pull up TikTok, uh, Kasha, see what he said on that. Might have a TikTok on <laughs> He might be on TikTok with it. <laughs> <They understand. laughs> Y'all off the chain. What's our next question? That's our next one. Yeah, let me hear the answer. I said it was substance. Oh, oh, I know that. I asked the kid. I already know what it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what it is. Oh, this is the next answer. Y'all remember that one? Yes, sir. I asked y'all, based off of the definitions, well, the, the definition of precious, something rare of a substance. And I asked y'all, that was a question to tell me what was of a substance. Okay? And it's precious, too. Believe it or not, yes, sir. Well, we got to find out now. Who answered that question? Only one team. How many? One team. One team. Team three. All right, if team three get it right, only one team answer, I'm going to give up. How many points I gave up for that? 250? We don't know. We're not sure. I gave up 50 points. How many no. points? How many points? How many points? Was, hold on. How many? Regular. Wow. I ain't but one answer. Which one? I right, got one challenge. Challenge point, how many? I did, give him five points. I give. Huh? Hold on for a minute. Who? Oh, that's right. Y'all can't challenge. No. The young people can challenge. Hold on. The young people can challenge. Y'all gonna put yourself out there like that? Y'all think about it. Y'all gonna try? Y'all gonna try it? Y'all gonna challenge him? Six? Yeah. Yeah. You gonna turn the answer in? Go ahead and turn in. We gonna turn his answer. Come on, they finna turn the answer. Come on, bring it. Day, what you did? You saved him, Day. What made that man thought he finna bring an answer him right now? Day, you hey, listen. That man said, 
yo, can we turn the answer in? Like, are you serious? This answer was turned in over, over a week ago. He definitely get it. What was your answer going to be, huh? You want to come out for No, you tell us, though. You can. No, tell us what was your answer going to be. It's already answered now. If it, what? Who? 11 and 1. Okay. Let's see. What is the answer? That's what we put. Y'all put that on there? Auburn 11 1. They got double point. Let's see. Let's see. Pick up 11 and 1, Auburn. Let's see what he told you. Huh? Hold on, who? I can't understand. So what now? How many points say you doing over there, Preach? Oh, take your time. Oh, y'all took points from the kids from there for on them oh. challenging. How many? How many? Uh, no, you no, say I you gonna do some of these points? How many points say you gonna do over there and preach? Now we gave her what well, we gave her two points. What is two points? So we get. Four. I was gonna get more because more. I was gonna get more first. Hold on, you say you gonna get more? No, I won. Now, so that was number. So everybody that voted against Team don't Six, we don't, we're not charging them for them points. Cause their answer wasn't that, but their answer will fit. So I'm not gonna challenge. I'm not gonna charge them on that. No, they don't lose no. Nobody lost points on that one. If they challenge, hold on. Let me say this. If you challenge the team, like if you challenge Team Six, if you challenge somebody else, they were wrong. Then you get your points. All right. How many? All the person was challenged on that was who? Team Six. So no, they won't lose no point. Cause their answer was different than what the answer I had, but their answer will work. Okay, so that makes sense. A team one, they get their points for that one. Um, this is this is why I told you I do this. This is eleven and one. See, it reads differently, but let's see what he told you. Now, Amunah is the substance of he things. Put assurance, assurance in what is expected in it, the, and the conviction of the things that is not seen. Yes, it said. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, evidence of things unseen. Evident. This said conviction. Well, that is not seen. Let's look up assurance, which we know would kind of more or less make some more confident. I want to see his assurance. You put it on the inner pressures, yeah. You said insurance? They gonna come in. What I say? A positive declaration, intent, yeah, intended to give confidence. That's say we're gonna be a confident. A positive declaration, intended to give confidence, a promise. He gave assurance that the work would not recommence until Wednesday. What did he give them? A positive declaration. See the difference with their stuff like this, a teacher telling somebody, all right, guy, I, we won't do any from now if the day's Friday. We won't reconvene on doing anything until Wednesday. Then I would need to give you something that you can hold to other than just my statement. See what he's saying that he gave so it's saying here, you know, based off, you know, just a written statement put to give you an idea. He gave an assurance that the work would not recommence until Wednesday, okay? So what would he give him to make him assure that? Because he can pop in there too since I changed my mind. See, unlike that with Yahuwah, what Yahuwah gave up, the book said he sworn and he won't repent. He's not going back. Because then he let us know he gave it to us based off of himself. He swore it on himself. He put it, on, he put it against the Arats. He put it against the Shema, he put it against the Shamash and on the Yari. So I'm saying that's our confidence. Them, him just, a teacher telling me, all right, guy, um, I'm giving y'all assurance that we won't have it, we won't, we can, won't start back doing work to Wednesday. What if you change your mind? I need something on, if I change my mind, if it doesn't, then this happens. See, what we have on Mona is based upon if he doesn't do what he said he's going to do, then some things are going to unfold. Y'all got it? Yes, like he told us that about concerning his debar. He said that Shamaim and the Rosh shall pass away. He said, my debar ain't going nowhere. And the thing is, you still see him on the rocks. 
That's even when I say I rolled up like a scroll, my debauch still stayed the same. And we're, we're, this is all predicated upon the arots is still here, which means my word is still in session. Y'all got it? But a, a person there making a statement saying they're going to do something, I need some evidence. Y'all got it. They're going to tell her evidence. So it's put, it put down conviction, uh, conviction, but evidence makes sense. We still have proof of him. Cause how many of us say Elohim? Exactly. But there's evidence. Y'all got it's evidence to not seeing him that he still exists. We have the wind. How many of y'all seen the wind? People, you know what people do? They're stupid. Oh, yeah, I seen your mama. No good way you ain't seen no wind. You seen the wind get a hold of something and change. It can take dirt up and you see the dirt turning and you'll call the wind. That's not the wind. That's the form that the wind's taking on and you can identify it through the dirt. But it exists. You can feel it just like Yahuwah. You can hear it. Can you not hear the wind? Yes, sir. Evidence. Evidence. And you can see things move and unfold and change by the actions of the wind. But you do not see the wind. Then I understand Elohim existence. I'm telling you, they don't believe that they can't see. They got to have all five of your senses don't have to see it for it to happen. But it's evident. Like he left the right center. The book said the invisible things of Elohim are what? <laughs> I, don't, I don't have to see him. Why do you think he predicated on, let me see, 14, 14. Let me see something. 14... Your Ukanon, they call St. John. Say that 14, 14, 19, 14, 16, 15. I'll work it now. We got to answer these questions. I already teach, but can answer questions. A lot of folks get twisted up with this stuff. These folks believe a whole lot of stuff they can't prove. We were talking on the show about a guy saying, talking about he believe in aliens, but he don't believe all of him. It don't take long to show people you don't know what you're talking about. That's a, I'm going to tell you how stuff works. This, and this, let me, what he said makes sense if you just look at his chart. Okay, this is how everything works. When it comes down to metals, when it comes down to any type of uh, minerals or soil, they have a chart. This chart identifies every metal known to who? Man. Man. That mean man know everything? No. That mean that's far as your chart go. Yeah. So a man run across something that don't measure up in his chart, guess what happened? It don't exist. It ain't real. Because it ain't on my chart. These bastards got new plates and new dishes they got from another planet. New Teflon steel. Not from here. Man, you can cook. You can burn it. Where you get this <laughs> stuff from? <laughs> They thought it new because these bastards just found out about it. It ain't new because it just came out. Right. Right. So this is how they come up with people start looking at Elohim. They have a chart that allows me. You got in your mind. When things don't measure up a certain way, you watch a movie, you say, man, that junk ain't real. Because you have things that are in your mind that put things, that predicate things in a certain order. Right. And when it don't meet certain mandate to you, it ain't real. I don't believe it. It's a lie. I can tell you something. You don't believe it. Because your chart you set up, it only designed to believe certain things. It outs anything you don't know. It don't let other things in. Yep. And some people ain't got a chart. They just make it up as they going. Just start receiving anything. Like, they'll walk in the store looking at me. Ham cheese low. It don't say pork. <laughs> See the scale. <laughs> it ain't on the scale. <laughs> I don't know why they went out. Well, yeah, porky. <laughs> All right. Oh, that's right. You were showing them a, you, that's fine. You were showing them a chart. But see, this is what people don't realize. Everything you believe and don't believe is because it's on the chart. They basically, they basically, they basically, they basically have gone through and defined everything you told you. Everything they gave you, that's everything you need to know in the world. They best got animals they ain't identified. They got all kinds of stuff. Like I told you, you saying you believe in flying saucers? The only way I believe in flying saucers, I'm in the house of somebody tossing teacups through there. The teacup says. I don't believe in this. It makes no sense. If it's unidentifiable, I don't know how to believe it because I don't know what it is. Why do you think Elohim came down and identified himself? Even Musa told these people, listen, they have a chart. What are you? I can't go down here and say a being, 
a Ruach came, they need to know and be able to classify you under something. Otherwise, they're not going. Tell them I'm Yahuwah. Let them know who I am. That is my shim alone. Let them know who I am. I'm a higher, higher. I exist. I always exist. Okay, that's good. Okay, they're going to need a name. They know about Abraham. They know about Yastakak and Yaakov. That's why the book is called Ula Shamu, Ula Shamu, the names. All they need to know is we need to be able to title you as something. They can't go on. Now you got a group. Girl, they call a higher shah, a higher shah. That just told you that I exist. I always exist. You got a group. Right? That's his name. He didn't tell you that. His name is this. He's trying to tell you. I am the one that exists. People have a lot of, I exist. I've always existed. I will continue to exist. What is it, boss? A chart. Periodic tape, yo. And guess what? They got so many minerals, don't even fall on that chart. You know what they do? They get rid of it. We got to get rid of it. We, we don't know what it is. Just throw it away. That's what they did with the nigga. There's no way to define it. You can't put us on this chart. We cover so many areas and so many. There's no way. They, listen, they're still trying to figure us out. Why do you think they out us and don't want to recognize us? They don't want to show your history. Man, you'll tear this chart up. All right, let's see. No, 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 Let's see. Uh, see. Let me start at 16. Let me see if I want What? African, I'm saying 15, 14, will come down. Start 14, we'll come down. Let's see. 14, 14, 14, please. Thank you. Let me see what 12 say, huh, huh? Let me see what 12 say, 14, 12. Okay. Uh, let's see, yeah, let's see it. Let's see what that say. 14, 12. Did y'all put on yourself? Who else scared? Who woke up? Keisha. <laughs> she said she wanted to go to sleep because Kerry would come with one of them else. Okay. All right, listen. 14, 12. Listen, listen to this. Amon, Amon, I say unto you. Truly, truly, I say unto you. He that Amon on me. Pay attention. The works that I do shall he do also. Pay attention. Greater. He <laughs> shall also do the works that I do, conjunction. And and shall do greater works than these than these, because I go unto my Abba. Let's see what happened. Come on. And whatsoever ye shall ask in my shim, what happened? That will I do. What happened? That my Abba may be kabul in the bend. See that? And whatever you ask in my shim, I shall do, so that the Abba may be kabul in the bend. Similar situation we're going to look at. We're going to look at now why it makes sense that Pharaoh told the people to go and do what? Talk to you. Say, do what? Go see Yusuf. Go you see Yusuf. And? Whatever he say, do it. Do it. That's why he told him to do it. I'm going to be kaboo to him because I set him up to do that. It made sense that, that all other animals had to come and see Adam because I'm going to be kaboo to him. My kaboo come because I set someone up and you come and see him, and those are my words. Okay. That's how he got it. Why well, wouldn't Pharaoh, you came to Pharaoh, I just handled it myself. Because I established this. Why well, I set him up, and I'm not going to let you go around him. Go back and see him. I mean, you got these groups that go on. They don't even waste time with Yahushua. They go straight to the Father. Yeah. He's not the Father. That's right. I don't know how he's not the Father. You know what I mean? it, it, it makes sense. He's not the Father. Right? You ain't gonna believe it. Austin, my son. Yep. And he also the father. That's right. Sally P. do it. Stop being dumb and just live alone up to wait. How he not the father when he begotten us? That's right. The books of his own will he begot he us. That's right. How he not the father? Cause they waste too much time being stupid. Every every father was a son. Yeah. I don't know what these people are doing. They stupid. Adam was the son. But then he had been he had been in, yep. which made him a father. I don't know why is this so hard, cause they too busy trying to think they gonna trap him in a corner, and the dummy don't realize they the one trap. Waste too much time. 
Whatever you ask in my shim, I shall do, so that the Abba may be glorified in the being. Kaboom. All right? Listen. If ye shall ask anything in my shim, I will do it. That's it. Huh? If ye ahab me, keep my amar. He said, you shall keep my commandment. What's the same thing? You shall keep my. He didn't use amar for commandment. It's misorthodox. Because you got to put my in there too, correct? There's two words going on here. Misorthodox. Orthe. Orthe. You know, spell something different. Be different now. You know, like strong, uh, like less kind, great. That's a lot of numbers. Boom. That's a different word. A deposit. Pick a dime. I need one of them things. <laughs> He's going to say, Nan, mitzvah. A command, whether human or that's not how, whether it's a man or whether it's given from above. It makes sense. Well, that mitzvah. You know that's you know Yiddish. You know. How does he got it? So I, Commits. T S A U. So going U, he putting the va. Hey, so I don't know why he did that, because I don't see nothing the cool vowel to tell me it's going him. Colon va. That's what he's trying to use. Colon va. Uh, Saul. Saul. Because I'm not going to buy his V. I'm not going to buy the va. It sound too. Yiddish to me. It's just too Yiddish. Yep. Did we just change to something else? Yes, sir. What are we going to do? Oh, we broke it down. Because it was two words before, right? To constitute and join. Okay. Well, this is what they had up there before. Why, you went to the root. This is how we got there. So that thing moved by us. I'm, sitting up and I'm like, why not just looking at something else? I see this. Who remember this L? Who? Kari. Kari? Kari. What you saying? Yeah, Kari, yeah. Which is, a, he's saying it's an I type. He's saying it's going the mem. And then he says, come in with an I type. That's what he's trying to tell you right here. Then you got your saw, and then you got your ooh. And he's telling you here that this is the uh, commits, which is the A as an aqua, and it's long. Okay? Saul. I'm saying, ooh. He's saying, bo. We're not going to get along. A command, whether human or. That doesn't make sense because he called it his. So the word even makes sense because that's going to make sense because he was a man. He said, if you're a hard me, so you'd have said a mark if it had been the Abba. It makes sense that he's going to say this word. This word will fit simply because he said, keep my commandment. How would they view him? As a man. So it would cover both. If you saw him as Ruachni, spiritual, then it covered because then you would say as the divine. Or as you saw him as a man, it still would cover him. Y'all got it? So it would have been whether of a human or whether it would have came from Ruach. That makes sense. So all I want to do is kind of understand how they're using words. Yes, sir. Go back to Sava. Su. Oh, okay, that's the root. What he took, take it back. He wanted you writing down the root. Okay. So the root in this word would have been the, the side. The side. Correct, Boston? The side is the root. No, I said the side is the root. Because both of them had side in it. So the side is the root. So you're going back to the root. So that word was created from the root, the sod. Y'all got it? That's how you got the, the mem in front of it. So your root would have been the sod. So now the other word would have been enjoined from now. So y'all have what we got called parent roots. Okay? What do parents do? We got. That's right. So they begot. That's how words stem off from. Y'all got it? Or stem into or come from. So you want to understand you got parent roots too. Okay? 
All right. So to constitute and join. All right. So in a harboring him and keeping his, well, they, they put mitzvah, his commandment, whether human or whether, whether divine, they put ru, uh, ruach, uh, ruach is what I said. He let you know, if you harb me, you shall keep. So now this word makes, keep my commandment right here. Yeah. Okay. All right, makes sense? All right, come on. 16. Listen. I will prolong the Abba, and he shall give you another comforter. An advocate. That he may abide with you along. That makes sense. An advocate. He'll give you somebody else that's going to be in the favor of. Okay? They use advocate. Y'all know what advocate is. That's somebody that fights in the favor of. That makes a difference. Just a comforter. A lot of people don't think comforter. They think about the bed sheet. But now, I, I'm actually giving someone else you to fight in the favor of. Now, how did the fight come from that? Yahushua came down and fought a fight for us that was physical. The fact that he rendered himself. It's still Ruachni where it translates over to, but we saw a physical battle where a man physically, physically came down and suffered and mourned and moot. Y'all got it? We saw this physically happen. And it was in because he was an advocate for it, right? So now he said, I'm going to send you another advocate, right? That advocate is going to be the Ruach. Now, how does the Ruach work for us in the eighth chapter? Fifth chapter, I think it is. You had to go get it. Eighth, fifth. fifth chapter book of Romans. It talked about when we palau that the Ruach makes intercession. Intercession. It's an advocate. Because he said, you don't know what to palau for as you should. See, they don't even know why they need it. That's why you pay me. Give me money. You just want to go with a comforter. You're going to run home and grab your mama's sheet. And you know, and why is it now? And you were doing the nasty on mama comforter. <laughs> Y'all remember that, don't Johnson Johnson family, they were praying. We had Nanny in there on mama comforter doing the nasty. And mama didn't know why she couldn't get that strain out the comforter. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you don't want no comforter. You want to get an advocate. Yeah. So now it makes sense of why he told you going to leave it. Let's see. We're short. This says the fifth chapter of the book of Romans. What verse I want? Five, five not 19. Go down. Seven, what I want? 12. Romans 5. What I want? 12. 8. What I want? Is it further down? So go back up. So was it up? Go back up. Let's start talking about the false step. No, it's not going. It must be down first. Should be in the fifth chapter. Hey, y'all found it. What do I want? Oh, eight. I said, what's an eight? Eight. Eight and six. Twenty-six or something. I said eight at first, then. I'm going to say, I'm not going to think of five. Let's do twenty-four. Eight and twenty-four. <clears throat> Let's see. See, so I kind of understand. Based off of what we read, I'm just going, when we read, Boom, boom, boom. We'll jump. We'll show you. All right. Listen. For we are saved by tikva, but tikva that is seen is not tikva. For what a each see it, why doth he yet tikva for? Which he sees. Okay. But if we are called for that we see not, then do we, do we with patience wait for it? We eagerly wait for it. I tell you in the morning we're going to go to the safe flag. You see it right now? What are you doing? What are you waiting for? We ain't see flag coming. So you know what you keep doing? Keep checking your clock. Keep waiting. Is it morning yet? Just ask me that two minutes ago. Ten minutes later, is it morning yet? 
So there's an eager anticipation because you're expecting something. Y'all got it? So I use that so you kind of understand where he's going with it. That which you see, you don't hope for, but you hope for that which you don't see, and there's an anticipation, okay? What you looking to do when you go to see flat? Have fun. Have fun, exactly. So what we looking to do, see with Yahushua? Just sit down and sit down and be quiet. Have fun. And have fun. Drink. Eat. Drink. Yeah. Eat. Eat. Hey, man, want to get drunk? <laughs> well, you know, according to, I mean, it's going to be lawful. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. People don't believe it. Yeah, it's going to be lawful what we're going to do. Same thing with happened with New Orleans. Nobody can't charge him with drunkenness. It wasn't no tour. Yeah, right. People, you can try it now, but I mean, you couldn't do it. You'll have to do it based off of what you know after. You couldn't do it based off of what he did during the time because there was no tour against him. Right. The same thing we found with somebody else. Who was it? Uh, Abraham. No. Artaxerxes. Artaxerxes did it. He actually was the first one we found to do it. Y'all don't mind I taught y'all that? I taught y'all that. Artaxerxes did it. He said Artaxerxes. With Vashti, yeah. Before he took, with Vashti. When he commanded the care, they sat down and they drunk wine. And the book said it was according to the Torah. That's why Yahushua told you we're going to sit and eat and drink in my mouth, cool. Because it's in your Torah. <laughs> That's why you pay, give me money. <laughs> That's what the book said. He said it was according to the Torah. You couldn't condemn it. Y'all remember that? Yeah. Right, let's see. Let's see. Hadassah. Got to help with that now. Everything, I ain't got number book. What else is it? Is that right? Hadassah. She liked that. She said, say it again. <laughs> Let's see one and six. Put it down. Been a while. Oh, well, um, let's see that guy for us today. Probably go back up. Let's see five. Let's see be said. I think you want eight, but what I want? Eight. Eight. Let's start up and we'll see. Stop. 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 Let's start at five. Okay. Listen. And when these Yamin were expired, the Malak made a Muhad unto all the arm that on. were present. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. So I don't think it, it even reads about the marriage, does it? See, here he reading about a marriage. This was a marriage Muhad. Mm -hmm. We may say that Yahushua went up to, a, went to, the, um, to the marriage of the Muhad in, Can in Canaan. It made sense, and you didn't believe what they wanted. They wanted wine. So it made, that's why I told the stop, because I'm looking. So pay attention. It made sense. Listen, I'm going to read that. He said, when I say the Yamin of the marriage, Muhar, was completed, the Malak made a banquet to the Guims who were present in the city, six Yamin, in the court of the Malak's bed, which was adorned with hangings of fine linen and flax, on cords of fine linen and purple, fastened to golden and silver studs, on pillars of perin, marble and stone, there were golden and silver coochies. Couches. On couch, I'm sorry, we're the same thing. <laughs> Hold on for a minute. Ain't that y'all never coochies? Hold on for a minute. Y'all never cooched up on the couch? Ain't nobody never cooched up on the couch? <laughs> Listen, <laughs> still say, still say. Old English with coochies. Y'all ain't never heard of the hoochie coochies? <laughs> right. right. All right, all right. Golden and silver, y'all sorry, y'all be satisfied. Our couches on a pavement of emerald stones, of pearls, and of parian stone. And open works covering variously, uh, variously, variously flower having roses work round about seven golden silver cups and a small cup of carbuncle set out. Did you want to take this right here? What you do? <laughs> That's what I thought. All right, set out of the value of thirty thousand talents. Okay. So it may say why they gave thirty pieces of silver for you. 
abundant and sweet, which the Malak himself, and this banquet was not to the appointed Torah, but so the Malak would have it, and he charged the stewards to perform his will and that of the company. So it reads different. Because it said not according to the regular to I say it's according to the law. Let's see what it said for now. Let's see what he said. Let's watch. The, uh, let's get the other one from verse nine. Put it up from um. Yeah. Let's see what he put over here. But see, that's why we use all these different variations because you got to check behind everybody. Yeah. Well, you know what? It would make sense what they said because it wouldn't have been according to the Torah. When Yahushua declared to us, it wasn't under the Torah. It was in the second Bereth. But it still wasn't no condemnation. Let's say how he writes it. Verse 8. And the drinking was according to the Torah. See what the, uh, see what the Latin Vulgate wrote. Let's see what the Latin Vulgate wrote. Because they got a, this one is by Jerome. So the Latin Vulgate is by Jerome. Y'all remember that? Y'all were taught that? Who are? <laughs> the wrong and wrong. That's him. <laughs> the wrong. So we'll just, I want to see what they recorded. How, how did the, the Latin, and the Latin would have no doubt recorded from the Greeks. Neither was there anyone to compel them to drink that were not willing, anyone to compel them to drink that was not willing. But as the Malak had appointed, he sat over every table, one of his nobles, that every each might take what he would. <coughs> so this is a different verse. This reads totally different. So I wouldn't anyone make them to drink it. That was not willing. So if you want to drink in the Bible, that'll make you drink. Right. But as the Malak had appointed, who sat over every table, one of his nobles, that every each might take what he would. So it was your choice. Mm. 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 Yes. Oh no 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 my qu no 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 what 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 I was looking at um, the English recorded that it was according to the Torah that was according to the law that was not according to our Torah that's the first mm -hmm. thing I get on your mind this is not this was not our law okay or the Zerks, he did it and they're saying from the English version it was according to the law but they would just say and said there was nobody made to do anything compelled to do it. So it could put it, reason it could put it that it was no law because there wasn't anybody enforcing that you had. To right. Do. That's really sad. So what I had to That's do, right. I had to put things together based off of three different people, right? This ain't my stuff. This these people just. That's right. And I got to fix their stuff and it got to come out to make sense. First thing I got to do is erase out of your mind when you hear law, you don't attach everything to Allahim. Right, right. Because first of all, they want un Allahim. Right. But you could see some characteristics because he told you they kept it for six days. What were they doing the seventh? Mm -hmm. So they very well could have been resting on Shabbat. Mm -hmm. Well, their law could have been that they kept a marriage waiting for six days. I can't speak for I can't speak for Pyra. Who are these people? Pyra. They call themselves Persians. They were the Pyra. Who they call Iranians. Y'all know that? Iranians reign over you. See, all these places you hear about called Iran, we dwelt in these places. Did y'all know that? Do y'all know Iran has a lot of your history? You go, and people, we go to Persian restaurants. They got Persian art, Persian statues that your black behind built. Most of the niggas don't know nothing. We don't be no, I'm just being, when I say, we don't know nothing about what, what history we have grown somebody told about we had history, we had stuff in Iran. You know, Iran, they're Muslim. They're white. No, you were there. Power ran over you. They call them Persians. They're powerful for us. 
So all these places, we dwelt in these places. We have artifacts there. We have history in these places. And we went back to you. The white man never told us that. Every time he talked about what to Africa. What part? Every time we hear about us, what well, we have Africa. Nobody told we had nothing in Iran. Nobody never told we had nothing in Lebanon. It's all kind of artifacts in history that show that denotes our existence. When you niggas all what they talking about, nigga go to Bahama, nigga go to Hawaii, nigga go to Aruba. He go everywhere he ain't got nothing to do with him and nothing to do with him. Them tongues. Nigga, put your tongue back in your mouth. <laughs> Yeah, right. We always run off every one of these folks. That's, but the thing is, that's not our, our first existence. But we run these places always trying to vacation. We need to go back to find artifact because it denotes and show proof of your existence. That's why they don't show it to us. What they do? They, why y'all think they constantly bomb these places? Lebanon. They've been bombing this thing so long. You can't go there. Libya. You were there. That's put. They come from under put. You were in Libya. You've been in these places. All these places you fought against, you have history in these places. When you heard a nigga talking about he going to Libya? If he here, he's some kind of Christian warrior going out talking about praying for somebody. You need to pray against his stupidity. Yeah. If you went back to all these places, you'll start looking. When you hear a nigga talking about going to Arabia? Nigga ain't talking about going to Arabia. Man, ain't going to Arabia because you were there. That's the first place where you came down and you got your Torah. How important that is to you? All niggas tell, I'm going to take a, a crusade and go back to Jerusalem. Them people, man, them riding buttholes over there. Yeah, that's right. Call them. Do you not know you got history and we don't even go there. Nobody even talk about going to We were there. The man spoke to us. And he said, they're going to shakar me here. Now the sod got it and pumped all the oil out of it. See that? But that's how dumb we are. All we know is Jerusalem. If you could follow and trace steps, up, <laughs> drop your wallet and leave here and go home. What you gonna, where you going to start at? Start at where you was at, last place you had it. When I realize I ain't got my wallet, I'm starting looking around where I'm at, my coat. Did I leave it in my coat? It's in my pan pocket I just threw in dirt. Let me check. Let me go back and check. Walk back to the car. Look in the car. I can't find the car. Get in the car, start riding back. Where did I get out before I got him? I'm going back to that place and start looking. It ain't there. I'm going to get out from there. Ain't in the part where I parked at. I don't see this space. Let me go inside the building and check. Get back to the root of the matter. When was to where the last place I remember having it? Tell the nigga to trade the last time he remember. A dirt road in the country. We don't know nothing. That's why they make sure they don't tell us nothing. When y'all go in this stuff, it's important for you to know this stuff. That man ain't gonna make you drink, but he didn't let you know. He did sit down, they did drink. And he said, I put it there so you can have what you want. Call whenever they looked at, hold on, hold on what a, And they that were invited drink in golden, and the meats were brought in, that different meat vessels, one after another. Wine also in abundance, and of the best was, pre, was presented, present, presented, as was worthy of the Malak's. Magnificence. This is a Magna what? Somebody said Magna Carta. That's another one. What did you say? Magnifying. Well, see, we here. It can happen. So I ain't gonna try to condemn you like folk did me. Cause we fought on. Neither was there anyone to compel them to drink that 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 were not willing, but as the king, the Malak had appointed, who sat over every table one of his nobles that every each might take what he would. He made sure you can get what you wanted. Man, who wanna to go to a feast like that? He sat somebody on the table, make sure everybody get what you want. What you want, man? Ain't nothing but waiters that said, what you trying to get? What you want? I, I'm ran, I, what you want? In abundance. See, that's why he told him he wasn't gonna eat or drink anymore. He said, till I do it new, didn't he? Y'all didn't know why he told y'all that? Okay, you're gonna do the same thing. Pick it up right. What is that? 23, 22, 22. Or y'all 22, 11? 22, 11, I think it is. Let's see. Or y'all, they call Luke. I try to get. Are y'all learning anything, though? Yes, sir. Man, folks, it's a lot of stuff. These folks, these folks ain't never taught us nothing. Not teach y'all stuff, man. These folks, they ain't taught these folks nothing. They don't, they, they don't know. Y'all don't know. I don't listen. 
I don't have to spend all that time running through stuff, and running through no books, no artifacts. I just be honest, I sit down, I can read it. It don't take long. I can sit down, I start configuring and put it together. Me hook. It don't take long. Just sit down, look at this thing, and put this thing together where it's supposed to go. Y'all saying you be the judge of it. Mm. All right, so 2011, Orion. Let's see what he told him. All right. I still didn't finish what I wanted in Yucca now, but that's all right. I get it back. Let's see. Listen. And ye shall say unto the two each of the bed, The Adon saith unto thee, Where is the guest chamber where I shall eat the Pesach with my Talmudine? Y'all see that? He want to know where the chamber was, where he may eat with his Talmudine. Eat the Pesach with my Talmudine there. Let's see what he said. And he shall shew you a large upper room furnished, there make ready. There prepare. Let's see what happened. And they went and found as he had said unto them, and they made ready the Pesach. Mm -hmm. And when the hour was come, he sat down, and the twelve shallah came with him. And he said unto them, with desire, I have desired to eat this Pesach with you before I suffer. Before my suffering. For I say unto you, I will not any more eat thereof until it be fulfilled in the Malkuth of Allahim. Mm. He said he ain't going to never eat. I not not to everything complete. Yeah, right. Let's see what happened. And he took the cup and gave her due and said, take this and divide it among yourselves. Distribute it among you. Let's see what happened. For I say unto you, I will not drink of the pari of the vine until the Malkuth of Elohim shall come. I ain't going to never drink wine because of sin. You'll go to hell. Never mm -hmm. All this man was doing was waiting that everything got complete. Just like the Malak did. Yeah. All the Xerxes did. What well, it looked like eating and drinking, it ain't ready yet. Everything mm -hmm. complete. Right. And when it was, he was able to sit down and recline and enjoy himself. Mm -hmm. Now, you ain't got to drink it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to need a drink. <laughs> My cousin, he called it grank. Everybody, can I get a grank? Come for they ain't call it drink. They said grank. Can I get a grank? You be like, a what? A grank. I want a grank. As soon as I get home. As soon as I get home. I don't drink now. When I get home, I'm going to be like Woodrow the Wino. You ain't going to be able to condemn me. I'm going to say, you got condemnation because you finna get out of here. There'll be no condemnation. Y'all see that? So he didn't tell you. So now it makes sense why. He's a Malak. Once they get back, he just told you. Look where he's going to do that. Until the Malkuth of Elohim come. See, that's going to be it. That's the same thing those people did. Once the, once the Malak set it up, where were they at? And everybody that came there. You know what I'm saying? Everybody that came there, he, he was furnished. What you want? You see how it makes sense? It makes sense to do what he's telling them. I'm going to wait till the Malkuth get him. They was in his empire when they did it, right? Yes, sir. He's going to be in his empire when he do it. He already told y'all before. He said, my Mal Malkuth is not up to Sarai. Y'all remember he told y'all that? Right. So why would I be here drinking? Right. The people didn't realize he told you a statement. He told you, this is not my Malkuth, so why would I be sitting here drinking? The Malak went somewhere else, was he? He was in his own empire. Right. So he can drink. Hello? Yes, sir. All right, just make sure it makes sense. Let me get one more question. Try to get ready to get out of here. I still had to finish that 14th chapter. So y'all gonna just since I was down, know why I left it. But SEC fit that we went. What's in that? Uh oh, they're tight. Before we move on to the next question, preacher. Uh oh. I believe he's about to get some more points because Team Three was the only one answer. I just want to make sure. Team Three? Yeah, we was the only one answer that. I think he's about to get some more points, but I just want. Let me hear one. I just want to make sure. What? What question? What question was there? Just what? What question was this? This is the second question, preacher. The second question. We got give y'all two points. Who answered that? If we take two. I give us four. Oh, Dad, he ain't give you four. I gave you two. Yeah, we we put we did chapter and verse, preacher. What was it? What they got on? How many points was it? That's what we asking you. 
I gave him two. I gave him two. I doubled. I gave y'all two. We'll take it. We... Nah, the kids were saying that. No, no, no. Hold tight. We'll stay with two. Addis had been drinking another mouth. No, we'll get photo. Hold on. Hold on. I got team two. Got to quit. What was the team two? No, I, team I, two I, says a lot of arguing going on over. I want to make. We did chapter and verse preacher, so we get four, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Did okay. chapter, yeah. They did okay. chapter and verse. That's true. They will get double. <laughs> <laughs> chapter and verse gave them double. They sure did a lot of arguing, didn't they? <laughs> no substance. No substance. All right, that's the next question. That time. They gave the book chapter. They said, substance. I'm going to huh? Who the, Who got chapter verse? Well, I gave them point. I said, how many points on that question? No, because I gave him the point. It wasn't one I wanted. So I, took, I gave him to, and they gave him to. What's your hat? What we got? What's the next one? <laughs> What's the next one? Main thing, make sure you're learning something. And you're getting understanding because it's important when you go back and read through this through the Sefer, a lot of times people read, they don't have no understanding. They just, and they read, this is what I try to do. Make sure you stay honest. People, people might think I just, I do. That's the first thing I stay honest. I ain't trying to look for nothing to get out of nothing. I'm trying to get into something. That's it. I ain't trying to find something to see how I can get out of it. It's part of something else here. Let me get out. That's why a lot of folks get the struggle. You trying to find something to get out of something. Well, God, something to get me out of this. I'm not trying to get, I'm trying to get in. I, mean, I got enough stuff by myself. And I try to keep myself to where, keep yourself where you always got room for correction. Because as you learn, you grow, things can change. Don't box yourself in to where you can't make no correction, can't make no changes. That's how you got to do it. The day y'all told us that knowledge is going to increase. Then if not going to increase, I got to try to make sure I have enough room to store. That's right. Well, where all this extra knowledge going to go at? If I don't already bought up myself and box myself in. So when all this knowledge increase, I'm going to be stuck. Because yep. I done boxed myself and closed everything in. Like with true dirt in the wood. Everything, he said, he said, if God got anything better than this, he kept it for himself. I said, Phew. I ain't say that because I ain't. I just said, I said, wow. They said, if I'm wrong, the book wrong. I said. So it's a tight one. Well, you put out your mouth, if you wrong, the book wrong? I said, that's a lot to put out your mouth. That's a lot to put. You think I'm going to put, if I'm wrong, the book wrong? Shaul declared in the book of Galatians, the second chapter, under God. He said, while we seek to be justified, and we ourselves are found Katayim sinner. He said, that don't make you who's with the shard of Katayim of sin. He said, if I build the things which I tear down, he said, I made myself a transgressor. You making a mess out of here. I'm talking about if you wrong, the book wrong? Man, I don't never put nothing on that like that. I know in part and I understand in part. When that which it taught me to come, that which I know in part going to be done away with. Leave room. That's how you grow. Y'all know that? My dad used to plant, I told you, had a flower in a cup. He seeds in a cup, dirt. He moved it. He left in the cup and never grow. That thing, every time he, he repotted, it, because it, it grow. You got to make room for it. When it got a bigger pot, then he, he put a nail on the wall. That thing went around the living room wall, all the way around the wall. My wife remember that, that thing just grew. He, listen, he'll break it out. He'll go put it out in the ground and it'll grow. He just knew that he'll break it out, stick it in the ground and it'll grow. Now, that thing, he'd have just left it in the cup. Most of these niggas teaching in a cup. In a cup. They don't leave room to grow. Mm. You got to leave room to grow. Go ahead, Dave. Honest, Dave. I believe this question is about clothes. Clothes? Clothes. Question 10 was question 10. Question 10? 
Something about clothes. The question ten. Yeah, and I think it was something about clothes, preacher. But that's about that. They answered. Who all answered it? Uh, let's see. Three, six, five, and one. Three, six, five, and one. This is about clothes. Uh, they say about clothes. Once I hear it, I'll probably get a better yeah, idea. Yeah. I hear them wrong answers. Them wrong answers will spark me <laughs> for the right answer. <laughs> Are there any challenges? Yes. All right. Who y'all challenging? I'm so surprised. Who y'all challenging? <laughs> probably not. Cause remember, you know why I bought Because nobody knew who would answer. Remember, because I was shooting them out. And everybody was just writing them down. So that's why. But I did say I would come back. And so it'll be fair. So y'all heard who answered? Three, five, and six. And one. One, yes. Y'all and one, okay. This And the answer is about clothes. Clothes. Is that how the question go? Clothes? We don't really know how the question goes. Y'all don't really know. Let me hear the answer. Let, <laughs> let's see how they're going to work out then. Are there any challenges? Oh, yeah, they challenging. Uh, he's challenging everybody. You should. They, they didn't answer. How many Two points? didn't answer. Oh, man. We talked about this. Hold on, did we? No, no we couldn't. I don't, I don't remember talking about it. I don't know. I don't know the question either. <laughs> so I'm like, maybe once you start hearing, it may make sense. Okay. Hold on, six. Are they? Hold on, six. Are they want to challenge everybody? All right, let's get that. Six answering everybody. Seven is challenging. I mean, they answer seven. Y'all seven. They challenge the six. All right, that's all the challenges. Question and answer. Let's go. Okay, so team five said Yeshayahu, third chapter, stripping yep. daughters. Yeah. Go ahead. Who said that? Team five. Okay, go ahead. Team one, he blotted out the handwriting and ordinances against us. <laughs> Who said that? Team one. Mm. Team three, Yeshayahu, third chapter. Who said that? Team three. Mm -hmm. Team six, Kazon, three and 18. Who said that? Team six. Talking about knowing that our eyes have the shame that they might see and that and he'll cover them so that the shame of their nakedness won't appear. That's why they did that three and 16. Probably yeah. Hold on for a minute. It was about covering Qatar. Hold on for a minute. Hold on. I feel, I'm hearing you. He was saying something. He said covering Qatar. And what you wrote down, Eric? Covering Qatar? He said it was covering Qatar. Humpback said, no, that's a whole nother question. This one right here. Let me put it out there, man. I don't know. I can't remember. Who remember what this question was? Because they didn't really write it down. What was the question? He made them clothes. Wow. That sound I'm trying to remember my mind. When we try to cover ourselves, there's a book. What you, what you specifically said was, Hold on. your whole question was, there was a question about covering. That was all you said in your question. This is almost sound for me, though. When we try to cover ourselves, there's a book that condemns us. That sounds for me. That might not be this answer. Yeah. Yeah. So what you said the question was? Your, your exact question was. Hold on, y'all. Okay. Your exact statement was there was a question about cover. Right. That was it. That's all you said. Yeah, yeah, you now, now, are you sure this is a uh, question ten? Because Hump saying that's another question. So that's probably another a different question. question. That's a Wednesday. No, no, no. Okay.
But y'all answer this with Yeshua Yahoo? No, we wouldn't answer that. No. Cause that would have made sense for the answer. That would have made sense for y'all to just say, um, there's a book that condemned covering, and y'all use that one. Not condemning. You said there was a question about covering. There was a question about, but that wouldn't have been a question. Because that was not a question. They made a statement. So, yes, Yahoo. So that, so that question, for them, I need to try to figure out what was that question. Because that wouldn't have been the right answer if you're saying, I mean, I know that answer. If I said there was a question about covering, that, one, that was not a question. They made a statement to Yahuwah. He told them that seven women were going to take hold of one each, and they were going to declare that we're going to eat our own bread and wear our own clothes, only let us be called by your shim. Must be. So they didn't get that question, so I see how this makes sense. That's her hand right. You talking to money? That bad. He said, "A I am like, who, who paper you read? What ten of the team six? How he tried to cover for his sons. Okay. Oh. And we answered that, didn't we? Huh? Y'all coming up with it. Yeah. I was talking about with him being blotted out. I thought we had to know because what happened, because when, when, um, when, when it talked about um, in the third chapter of the book of uh, Olive, uh, Olive Shemuel, when he told him the kazoon, well, well, the call of Mu, I don't know which one. When he heard the, the call of Yahuwah, and Yahuwah told him about Ali, he told him that his house wasn't going to be covered with sacrifice or nothing. But what would the answer would have been? We have that question. Yeah, he did. Yeah. Y'all yeah, remember that? And that, that question now, they definitely, they put that, that's like so far. So they don't have that question though, do they? Do y'all have that question? The answer to that question? Huh? You heard Chris Smitty. Chris said, do we have an answer to that question? Uh, are you talking about the mirror question? No, about the, about the question, what Bosses have brought up? On, on that third chapter when we read Olaf Shemuel, he told him concerning about Ali's Beth and that by he was not going to, by sacrifice or nothing, he was not going to be covered. They won't be able to use that. And I asked y'all, based upon that, how was he going to be covered? I do remember asking y'all that, but it's a matter of do they have that answer. Do y'all remember that? Yes, I remember. All of Shemuel. The answer would have been something y'all knew. It wouldn't have been nothing y'all didn't know. Because I asked y'all, how was he going to be covered? Appreciate you bringing it back. That's right. I asked y'all, how was he going to be covered? Because he told you he wasn't. Can we look at what he told him? 
What I'm going to do, what I do is done. If they did, they'll be so off. That, that couldn't be the answer for it. I would say I thought we answered it. Gay, I'm sure I gave y'all nothing. Do y'all remember what the answer was? For the one we just talking about now? Yeah. Did y'all, did anybody answer it? Let me see, let me see. Did I answer it? Team one answer it? Team two, I'm sorry. Team two answer it. I'm sure it probably was. Yeah, well, it was, it was, it was, it was a, Cause up. Let them see the tongue. Yeah, cause I think I asked who all. I said they don't want to answer. That's the third chapter. I want y'all to see how the answer gonna come up. Do they have the answer? Y'all can't find the answer. What was your? Let me hear that. Let me hear that. What you gonna tell me? The answer. Ho oh, oh, ho, yeah, yeah. Okay. I thought I'd talk about how they're gonna be covered. Let's see. Let's see. Fourteen verse, out of three and fourteen, and it shall not go on. So I have sworn, Shabbat, to the Beth of Ali. The iniquity of the Beth of Ali shall not be atoned for with incense or sacrifice about for alarm. And Shamuel slept till the morning and rose early in the morning and opened the doors of the Beth of Yahuwah. And that's when Shamuel came, he feared to tell him concerning it. Okay? Y'all got it? What's the answer? I heard his answer. Do y'all have an answer with that on there from him? No. no. Who's going to answer this question? They can't find it. Nobody answered it? Who answered it? Two, six, and one. Two, six, and one answered it. Let's see what y'all answer. Hold on, we'll let y'all challenge. Two, six, and one answered it. Six, y'all remember answering the question? Well, you got an answer over there. You say y'all answered it, Justin. There you go. What is it? Who gonna, who gonna answer that for him? He said this is the question about Adam and Kaua. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> I just read this up here about Shemuel in the book of Shemuel about Ali, and you asked me is this about Adam and Kaua? Now nah, he not in this service. Y'all see what happened to the kingdom? Y'all falling apart. Josh, the kingdom is falling apart. The kingdom is divided. <laughs> that man said. I read that thing, that man said, is that the question about Adam and Kaua? You supposed to wait till the Malku get here before you drink that wine. <laughs> That's a law again what you're doing. Drunken. All right, y'all found him yet? Y'all turned him in, didn't you? What about Team 4? Y'all remember answering it? Y'all didn't answer. All right, this is what I do. Y'all can't find it. I'll let them answer right now. No, you didn't tell me your answer. They can't find it. Huh, they find that answer now. Y'all get it. They can't find it. Then they withdraw. This is what I let y'all do. I verbally let y'all give me y'all answer. I still leave it 10 points. They can't find it. So tell me what y'all answer. Team, oh, you got it. But I just want to, yeah. How are we going to come back in? Rest off of what he just told y'all. Well.
They couldn't be. They couldn't be. They, they know we're even close. That was for something else. No. But now I know that one. That's, it's too far. It's, that's dealing with me talking about clothing or something. So, so what y'all got? So what y'all got? Y'all found him? I don't know. That's what I do. I'm going to let them answer it. So I'm going to let y'all verbally answer. So who's going to answer this question? Uh, uh, one is the only one going to answer it. That shouldn't have been. Oh, uh, well, well, about. I was basically looking at them being covered, what was going to get them. So we don't find out what's, what couldn't happen. Incent, none of this stuff going to cover for these people. Sacrifice. So he done told them, I'm trying to ask y'all, how are these people going to be enjoying back in? Because basically that whole segment is done. They're done after that. And we know we had Kohanim after them, don't we? How they going to work? They just told them how they weren't going to be covered. So I'll ask y'all how they're going to be covered. So nobody going to answer the question? Are there anyone going to answer the question? I make a 20 point. 30 point. 50 point. How much you going to take away if we get it wrong? You get it wrong, I'm going to take away... 10 point. Yeah. The channel? Well, ain't nobody answer. All right, let's see how we do that. Pay attention. Pay attention. Slide me back down one more time. Da -da. Come on down, Lamar. Da -da -da -da. Come on, 13. 13. Y'all focus. I'm going to let y'all go. All right, focus, focus, focus. And I have told him that I will be avenged on his Beth perpetually for the iniquities of his Benin because his Benin spoke Rosha against all of, now this, let me say this, I've never heard that. I don't, I don't, I don't even think it said he did it. This said they spoke it. We knew about the act they committed. Now the Latin Vulgate, I'm sorry, this is Septuagint is saying they spoke evil. That's not in the, that's not in the King James Version. Is it? That's not in no, the sir. King James Version. They, they made themselves vow. That's a whole number. That's a different statement. I'm, that makes sense based off of what they did with the women mm -hmm. and how they handled it concerning when the people brought in their, brought in their Zabal. Mm -hmm. So that makes sense. They made themselves vow. But here, the Septuagint is telling us, and I sworn to the Beth uh, Ali, I'm sorry, okay, because it's Benin spoke Rosha against Allahim. That's a difference. That's a difference. Mm hmm. So now what we would have to do, not now what we got to do, Boston, we got to go back and we're going to compare this off with the Greek here, right? Then we got to go back and look at his, what he wrote in uh, his, the Beth Mashiach, and look at the Greek at the bottom. Because one of these Greeks are not saying the same thing. People trap. But see, this is easy fix. This ain't nothing we can't fix. This is how you do this and you catch people quick, okay? You can see who's staying with what they're saying because the Greeks should line up. So what we'll go back to find out, y'all will do for me, we'll find both of the Greek writings to see that they match up exact. So we can find out who's moved. The Septuagint is an older writing. It's actually one of the oldest writing for us because our books are not, you can't find them, okay? So now we're looking here, and this is saying something different, okay? Therefore, I sworn, okay, to... For I have told him that I shall much part his best for alarm for the iniquity which he knew, because his benign made themselves vile. See that? That were speaking Rosha of Allahim, his benign. So the Greeks are recording that. Y'all see that? Same thing in the Septuagint. He didn't put it here. He went with the English version. But see, this how you see how quick we find people and find out who's staying with what's. That makes a difference. He charged them about them speaking. We've just been going here. For I told him that I shall march part his Beth alarm for the iniquity which he knew because his benign made themselves vile and he did not rebuke them. Reprimand them sharply, which automatically took us to when they laid with the women. How they would take the, um, the Zabat before they were even offered. They would snatch it from them. The Mashpot, the, the Kohan was supposed to take a flesh hook with three prongs and you were supposed to strike the cauldron or the pot while it was in there. And whatever the flesh hook grabbed, that's yours. 
But we told her, no, no, we ain't dropping nothing. I ain't got time to be slapping no pot. I'm taking mine now. That's how we took it. He made them vow. So this is information he left us without. Come right down here. That quick. Appreciate it. That's how we do it. But I ain't going to blame him more. I'm going to look at This is a lot of work, okay? So if you had to do that much work, it's going to be, you're going to miss something. If you do it, I don't care. You're going to miss something because you get tired. So I'm just kind of just go with the roll on, you know. Somebody else work, and no doubt this tells me he copied somebody else's work. Because this didn't make sense. I would never put something right under me that's going to make me like a fool. I'm not going to do it. That makes absolutely no sense. Because the Greeks come right here and record for you that were, that were speaking Rosha of Allahim. Who was it? His Benin. This is what he charged them with. You see how important it is for us to look at different variants? Let's say we just stayed with this. Because we all get lazy. You see how important it is to pay attention to things and look at details? Because there are things we miss. And he heard them and he didn't rebuke them. All right, let's see. We can go back to the, uh, the Subtuagent. So people that are watching us, I know it might, oh, he, I ain't all over nothing. I just want what's right. I ain't got time to be sitting here. I told you, the King James Version perverted. I've been told you I know he lazy. He misspelling stuff. So tell me you're not letting nobody prove ring. You're just running. You can't. This, this is something that y'all need to know, okay? When you go back, even now, customer, if you were to copy this stuff back out, okay, they hold you to strokes. That's why the smallest stroke, you, listen, you can't miss a stroke. If you miss a stroke, do you know they got to get rid of the whole paint? You can't white out. You can't, listen, they could, listen, this imperfection. They don't do it. Get rid of it. Start over. Because you're dealing with Allahim's book. All right, let's see what happens. That, that don't make sense. You get to a part, you mess up, you got to throw it all away. What you who it did when a man got rope, when a man got Rosha? Start over. He start over. Just get rid of him and start over. And then you know what he started with? A perfect stroke. Me fold on the, see a lot of stuff people trying to do. When you're doing stuff like that, I know people think I'm a diamond. That's fine. I assure you I'm not stupid, okay? I understand how this thing is done. I understand. When you're doing it, that's why you, you don't even fool with stuff like that because you have to be a perfectionist when you're doing it. And these people are not. They just copycats. That's all he did is copy it. All he did was just lazily copy it. This looks bad. If I show him his work and say, how did the Greek record this down here in the Septuagint and you didn't put it up here? Man, I was just writing down what other people said. And y'all see sometimes I look at stuff, I stop. I could be wrong, but I, it's got to make sense. I ain't got but five of them. If you're not striking one of these points for me, you can forget it. We're not going nowhere. I'm stopping. So I'm watching, I'm looking, and I'm hearing it say, oh, well, he, well, listen, and it shall not nah, 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 spoke because his Benin spoke. He, he talking about when they had slept with the women. Don't worry about that. All the heat, see, you start messing up. People start, I'm not trying to interpretate, have my own interpretation. I want to go with what he said. This gets all of us to try to realize something. Y'all got to quit playing around. Stop taking stuff for granted. We got to go back and do all these people work. For whatever, what I said, let me, that's to take it out. Let's look at Septuagint. Let's look at, let's look at Latin Vogue. They're older than these guys writing. I know people like, oh, you want no cracker stuff? You ain't going to believe it. His stuff come from them crackers. And he ain't even copping outright. That's why I question stuff sometimes, because it don't make sense. Why would I put that up here? Just why, and the Greek right up on it, clearly saying they spoke evil. Why did you put something different up here? Because they're telling me you're copying somebody's work and you're not paying attention to what you're doing. It's not all your work, you're copying. Y'all, that's me now. Y'all agree? Because you're good. But how long it took? What, I would look for you to go pull the Greek from now, pull it because I want to see who's saying what. The Greek's saying the same thing. Now, what I would have did if I was him, if they were wrong, I would have been able to prove to you where they were wrong. This is why I went with this because this is not right. Y'all got it? That makes sense to y'all? Yes, sir. But I'm not going to put no right information under here and then say this is where I got it from and it don't say the same thing right under it. That don't make sense. So you never read it. It's right there in your face. This, and you color coded it. 
So what are you, you copying somebody else's work? Sound like somebody we had stole somebody else's work. Clay didn't wrote out, Lee right lying behind. Yep. Lying like he done wrote out the whole book. I don't know why these people, when I done came here lying to me, I done wrote out no book. I ain't got time to be lying. This ain't what it is, it ain't. I ain't trying to go steal nobody else's work. It, you you going to get found out. All these folk run their mouth. Show me one video where these folk come up and show me a message that I preached I got from one of them. Let one of them call my name and show where they gave me some information and taught me something. Not one of them can ever prove that. Because they ain't done it. They're going to be lying. Got time for no fools like that. Don't make sense. You don't know. You don't know. What the person's all that lying for? If I got some, I got it from him. That in it. That this against some other people. Ain't no Qatar. Yahushua said, I have given them. So what did Charlotte King say? This is my own stuff? He done told you. Ain't no, you done run that line talking about it's their word. The man done told I gave them my word. This ain't my stuff, it's his stuff. All these guys trying to go fingerprint and tell lies. Your handprint going to show up. This is not true. The man done proved that. Look at my hand. Boy, you know I wrote this. Guys ain't got no proof of writing. That was Yahushua trying to show. Look at it. Proof that I did it. When Moshe came down, he told this thing was written with the hand of all of him. These liars sitting out here, they're trying to mess people up. <sighs> okay. Because his Benin spoke Rosha against Allahim, and he did not go in the, go in the book and scratch that, scratch where that vow. Make sure you put that spoke. They spoke Rosha. Spoke evil. Put, come on, come on. Don't go back. It don't make sense to go back on this and mess up the next time now. They're going to be stupid. Once we know what we do, if we leave it like that, we're going to think it's okay. This is what's going to happen. He that a mind on me. What if he never said vow to the fact that well we because we took it and we believe something else different? So how you get the Ruach Hakadah? Don't y'all know that these people and these white folk know what they're doing? That's why they purposely leave statements wrong. All it what what they mean? I know that's one statement. Everything right. What that mean? Little leaven, leaven. The, oh, how much leaven is a little? A little bit. Any bit. A little lot. A little bit. A little medium. So how critical if a little leaven, a leaven, the whole, the whole bread become leaven, how critical is it for me to make sure I don't have a little something wrong? I done messed up all my armor, not my arm mine. These guys know that. We told you not the smallest stroke. You'll look at something and say, that stroke's so small. He said, you can't get rid of it, though. These guys missing, <laughs> they missing major parts. All right. And he did not the that one said refrain, like keep them back, restrain, which could be but keep them back from. He look at these folks, you should have admonished them for that. And it shall not go on. So I help Shabbat. See that? He says it's not gonna go on. You're not admonishing them for what they done. So I help Shabbat sworn if you there for Shabbat for sworn to the Beth of Ali. The iniquity of his Beth, of, uh, the iniquity of the Beth of Ali shall, shall, I feel like a pervert. Can we roll this up? <laughs> Not be atoned for with, or, that's S. That's right. For how long? Listen, and Shamal slept till the, and rose up early in the morning and opened the doll, the doll of the Beth of the, uh, of the Elohim, of the Yahuwah, and show me all to tell the Kazoom. He said, I don't be want to be the teller. How you tell a man that? Man, a real judge, he been like a Abba. You, you got to walk and tell that man, y'all ain't going to be saved. That man waiting to see, cause we, I ain't seen that. He ain't told me I don't know when. And I'm looking at you, and now you done been talking to you. What'd he say? This gonna hurt you. You ain't gonna make it in. Y'all cut off for a long. No incense, no zabak. That's tight. That cause his son done ran him out. And you saw, and he was running him out with him. Say it again. He just didn't admonish. You see, I, 
That boy tell us about everything. He told us that money is one another's our king. Then he told her, he said, warn him. He said, you're supposed to warn him. That's why he put me here, I warn him. This ain't nothing new. This is the same thing he told you, Kosakal. He said, I made you a watchman to the belt of Yasharal. And when you want, you get them warning. You admonish them from me. When I say to the Rosha, what's going to happen? You don't tell them to say they wicked. They Rosha. He said, then I'm going to put it on you. He sat there and it fell on him. You're going through checking and bust it. Like you know, Bob, uh, Bible Hub and all the other three things we do, uh -huh. it just brings the word uh, vow. What is it called? Yeah, vow, vow up, call, call up for vow, for vow, for vow. But so what? So what? What I do is I will go back and try to find the other references for that word vow. In the, so we try to find where it connects. In the Lepo Codex and um, Tim, where is it? I don't have. This on here, ain't this on here? What we have it on here? I want to do one. Know where these people coming up from this stuff at? Yeah, this out in the fire. Y'all go home and go to sleep, and you wake up wrong. You want to? You ain't gonna have to worry about it no more. Once you wake I'm up saying, wrong I'm one trying, time, I'm, I'm telling you, wake up, you're in the mud pot. You ain't never got to worry about it no more. So like if you wake up, sit down. Yes, sir. Exactly. Oh, what the vow? That's New English. No, 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 no. Yeah. Yeah. But why? Which makes sense. She told him to deny his father. To use his name. What you're saying makes sense in Greek, because Greek changed too. They got an older Greek and a modern Greek. So that the Greek that he's showing, I don't think that's the ancient of the Greek anyway. I'm not trying to tell us to do something crazy different, but we almost would do better probably reading new international versions because of how we speak. And they kind of come in. Let's see what they record it. No, I got what you're saying because they come over closer to saying newer English. This is how to read based off of the older, how the way they said it. Okay, American Standard, I think, is what they claim to be the newest. What are, they claim to be the more accurate. For I have told him that I would shop at his bed for alarm for the iniquity which he knew, because his benign did bring a curse upon themselves, and he restrained them not. A blasphemy would be a curse. Uh, so, no, no, no. Okay, knowledge of. Because his benim have been cursing Allahim. So Bible in basic English is said they have been cursing Allahim. And cursing is not the word for us. Cursing is more or less speaking kind of against or speaking like people think, oh, you ML. That's not cursing. Okay, cursing is when you, I say, let, I'm going to cut four, be like, man, don't do that. Don't use me. Let your, you know, let your leg fall off or something that made this happen. That's cursing. Okay? I uh, like you like what they said about Cuff and it's all like Cuff was doing it. Cuff would basically tell no people to prove that he wasn't that if I was let such and such happen to me. They take it, he would say, Mother blanket, I ain't with no mother blanket, Jesus. Blank that Jesus stuff. I ain't the one. But I'm saying the way that because of how we know things and see it, you assume things. Like even with like like I said, using vow and why I'm saying with the vow is because of how it's how it's put there we wouldn't have known based off of what we knew about his son. It never told us about them speaking again. It just told us about what they did, how they labeled the women. So when they say they made themselves by, I'm just saying how it left us to say, this is the only situation. How they handled the offerings, how they handled the women. So when we read, he made, they made themselves vile. 
it just left us open to assume that. That's the detriment of a lot of time when you read stuff and you're going, because how we do, you conclude things based off a of certain word. You know, that's how you, close, you conclude them off of. So when you don't know how they're doing things, it kind of puts you in a bad, uh, bad perspective. Let me see him. For told having a new son. He said, here they say he, they did wickedly. So what I'm going to put that with, they did wickedly. It's the women and the offering. That's why I'm looking at when I'm saying it. If you're going to give it to us for understanding, we need to know exactly what's going on. Uh, made themselves vile, the Noah Web Webster Bible, and restrained them not. Bring a curse on themselves, and he did not restrain, making himself vile. Restrained them not. Curse, made themselves vile. Okay. The Latin, then the Hebrew. Um, okay. Okay. That, that's my problem. I appreciate that. But that, that's my problem. When you don't know and you see how much going on, it'll put you in derision. And when he wrote it, copying back out, I wouldn't have put vile. I would have put it to where it would have been more plain, just like how the, how the Greeks put it. Like I said, blunt English, it let us know it was what they spoke. All right? And of course you're going to get a curse because the book told you you weren't supposed to tell you who was Shem in vain. That's right. For he wasn't going to hold you Blame. guiltless. That's yeah, right. You were going to have some fault. So we know, like he said, bring a curse upon themselves. But that's going to be knowing the Torah, yep. you reading English, then you going with all these different translations. So we got a lot of work we got to do. Yes, sir. Okay? That makes sense? Yes, sir. I appreciate it, but that's what we do. We bounce information off of us so we can get to the concise part. Right down to what's true, okay? All right, y'all ready for the answer? Anybody answer it? You want to put it on there? Uh-oh. It'll -uh. be tight. Don't do it. It's going to be tight. You said somebody bought a fist. I don't know if they're like, right on, brother, or brother, stay away from this question. All right, y'all want to take a free answer, free shot at it? Free shot. Come on, free swat. Who's going? Come on. What? He right. I don't know why I didn't do it. I don't know how y'all didn't get it. That's why Yahushua told you to sacrifice and offer for Katin. He said, Thou would or not, neither did you have any pleasure. He said, But a body you prepared for me. How was he going to get him back in? See, I don't know why I thought pay attention. He told me incense. And it's about. And he told you in sacrifice and offer for Katin. Didn't they commit Katin? He said, You didn't want it, didn't he? Neither did you have any pleasure. He said, But you prepared a basar for me. He said, Lord, I come sacrifice. He said, Lord, I come in the volume of the book. You ain't going to believe it. He ain't saying nothing about us about. He said, it's written to me to do your will. See that? Well, y'all could have put that on paper. I put a 50 point. Chris, he did. I saw, I saw you, sir. Chris looking at that loss, ain't it? How you feel now, Chris? I feel all right. <laughs> Yeah, uh, we'll come back tomorrow. But does that make sense to y'all? Because he didn't tell you, he told you. If he, we know he became our Zabak, but you notice in the writing he told you, he said, sacrifice and offer for Katahin. He said, thou would have not, neither had any pleasure. He said, but a body you prepared for me. Then said I, lo, I come. It's written to me to do your will. That's how I'm going to get him back. So if you pay attention to what folk look at, they done. Because you take a high red, and they done. They can't. But you pay attention. He said, with sacrifice and incense. He said, with none, he said you, gonna, you weren't going to recover with no sacrifices. And with no incense. Alarm. It wasn't going to work for you. That's why it made sense for him to say, Lo, I come. In the volume, in the fullness of the book. See, it's written to me to do your will. So you can believe what he did. He took away the first. They might establish the sacrament. For the which will? There was, they was once for all. That's how important he became for. That's in the second, that's in the second chapter of the book of Col Colossians. Black. Yeah, the handwriting of the ordinance there was against us. You see that? It was against the one that handwriting against them. That's right. Who do we find that first?
I want to answer. I want to answer on paper. On paper. They're going to be tight. I know y'all think y'all going, but I got book. I know I'm right. Huh? If I'm wrong, then I'm just wrong. <laughs> and that's the book. Right, listen, we're going to get ready to go. I need that answer. Y'all need it before y'all leave. Y'all got me? Then about the answer. They couldn't find a point. We couldn't find it. They couldn't find it. But he answered. He said though. I started a whole new game out there quick. Yeah. He didn't say how for he said what a body he prepared for me then. I heard you say you say mixed uh yo, I'm gonna talk about the man. And be well. That's gonna make sense for the fact that when it started to describe him, because you gotta think about this. What just as he quoted earlier about how he was gonna mix man and beast, that makes sense because you gotta remember, you can told you, behold, what did those people see? A man. It's a man. So you see, I was gonna have to make sense to them. The fact that he told him he was gonna mix a man with a beast. Hold on. Hold on. What happened? Yeah. No, he cleaned that up. They want honey. You see. Take take that um that half a point I took off for one. Take that off for now. Justin. Uh, um, by the way, we removed that half a point y'all had that was against. See, blotted out that ordinance against y'all. Let me have Uh. <laughs> Who? Yeah, we have a question. Um. Yes. Oh, um, yes. We created. What was it? What question I just gave y'all? Y'all got to wear that question. I gave y'all a question to answer. What was it? Oh, the handwriting the ordinance, he he because he brought that up, so it's based off of that. In the second chapter of the book of Coloss Colossians, okay? Y'all can look at that. It's 2, 9, 11, 2 and 11, the handwriting the ordinance, he blot out which was against us. There was some handwriting, too, that was against somebody. All right? That's another question. Now, this, this is the question. There was some handwriting that was against them. Was. Was. Yes. Um, earlier, earlier you asked the question. Um, you said uh, it was about the excelling. Uh, about the what? It was about excelling. Someone excelled. You said, did you say that somebody was told that they were going to excel? I'm not sure exactly how you, I was trying to, I wanted to ask you earlier, but how you said that. I asked that, that this Layla? Yes, sir. Then Layla. Then Layla. I asked that, then Layla. Yes, sir. <laughs> What's the question? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Can you ask the question? Are you saying that somebody else is still? Are they going to ask somebody else to tell them what they still? What did you want to say? Like, ask the question. Somebody told you they still. They said they still? That's what they said. A lot of folks said. All right. So I'll write that two of them. Y'all got it? Y'all got it? That's tight. Oh, that's what we're going to go with. All I know is, I don't know what y'all think of I'd like to see this one, though. All right. Just make sure y'all got it then. I got to get them a question, young people. Um, hmm. It'd be tight. But make y'all strong, make y'all learn. I need y'all to give me the Aubrey word for honey. The honey, H O N E Y. The Aubrey, H O N E Y for the kids. Seven, eight, and the, uh, the disfigured kid, nine and a half. One of them disfigured. 
Nine and a half, you need to answer this question. The Aubrey word for honey. All right, then I need this one for y'all. Another question. My young, that's one of them. Y'all, next question y'all got. I need to know what did you Ukanon wear? I, uh, that's, what did he wear? His clothes. What did he eat? Y'all got it. That's three questions y'all got. I need to know the Aubrey word for honey. I need to know what did you Ukanon wear? And I need to know what did he eat? Now y'all got three questions. Five, 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 fifteen. Yes. Come on. Oh, yeah. Didn't we answer that? Come on. Oh, okay. Y'all, y'all answer that? Oh, y'all got four questions. That's right. Y'all didn't answer Shamshun wife. Y'all got a question? Uh uh. Hold on. Y'all supposed y'all answer. Y'all turn that in. Y'all did. Y'all supposed to turn it. Then y'all turn in who was Shamshun wife. Y'all turn it in. Y'all look so guilty. What a chapter what? That time. Carrie, we just had to be checking. Uncle Carrie wouldn't cheat with him. What about Auntie Keisha? Will Auntie Keisha cheat? No, no, no. Okay, that's all. I see Smitty shaking her head too tomorrow. <laughs> Cause that, uh, house, uh.